All right, what the fuck is up? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Saturday night, folks. My Saturday has been pretty chill, so I'm just going to be playing Paper Mario. Andrew will probably be popping in a little later. I don't know what he's up to. Whatever. He does his own thing. But if he pops up, you'll get to hear him. In the meantime, I'm actually going to pop on the the monitor so that I can hear, hear the game. Won't that be fun? Uh, yes? Can I hear it? Can I hear it? Hello? Hello? Oh, there's a game. Okay. Just very quiet so that it doesn't drown me out. Okay, I'll have that on for now. And we are off to fight the next boss, which is the um, colored pencils, I think. I've been specifically trying not to find too many spoilers of this, but there's going to be a few. In this day and age, I can't avoid all of your spoilers. So, let's get into this. It looks like, this thing right here, this looks like, uh, not fruit by, well, it looks like fruit by the foot, but more, looks like bubble tape. You ever have bubble tape? Remember the, uh, it was always the grape bubble tape that was like the, the hot ticket item. On the schoolyard. Uh-oh. Is my cup, is my cup broken? Looks like it might be leaking a little bit. Hopefully not. Oh. Oh, here it comes. Watch out. Nice. Saved each other's lives within seconds of each other. That's how you know they're good friends. Jean-Pierre Calapenso is it 12. Pretty sure Colored Pencils has a uh, French translation that they could have used, but okay. Mm. Alright. Let's get it on! Fight, 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 fight! I, uh, ended the last one with the boss fight, now I'm gonna start this one with a boss fight. Solid. Well, I guess I didn't end the last one with the boss fight, but, uh... Y'all know what I mean. There was a boss fight in the last one. Maybe there'll be two this time. I think I can get to the next next boss fight, maybe. Okay, I was having a lot of trouble with this part before, so hopefully it's not too difficult. Um, hmm. Ah, damn it. Okay. Gotta hit the switch, so let's, let's turn this, then that, then that. That should do it. All right, here we go. All right, let's grab, uh, whoop, yep, gotta hit the button. And grab some, I guess just whatever, uh, let's do it. Gra oh! Or not, okay. So that didn't really help. Ooh, oh. Alright, watch out. Dodge, block, 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 block. Two, two, two. That still does a ton of damage, holy crap. Okay. Use the arrows. So I guess I gotta... I guess I just gotta hit him first. Hmm. Um, well, if that's the case, then I'll just pop this over. While I'm at it, just bust in one of those. Oh, I don't know. Uh, some of that? Nah. Nah, they'll do it. I 
I don't know if I can hit him from this side that well. But, uh, looks like more of a... Uh, looks like a boots. What's him with the fire flower? He's made out of wood, so maybe that'll work. Oh. Hit him. Get him. Get him. He's playing more sticker star earlier, and that game is... Ah, uh, it is not great. The, the, I think the main difference is, like, while aesthetically they're pretty similar, the battles there are so boring, but the puzzles in the overworld are way more satisfying, so it's kind of a give and take, I think. Alright, gotta watch out for that. Uh, oh, easy, we're already set up for a good one. Bam! Then I will... Uh, actually... Uh, bam. And, ba bam. Awesome. Can I just, okay. Heal up. Uh, I didn't need to heal up twice. Uh, got, ooh, coins. And, I guess boots? Ooh, this might be a bad idea, because it looks kind of spiky. Yep, yep, that's spiky. Well, shit. Block, block, block. Watch out. Watch out now. Oh no. That's a lot of a lot of pencils. You can tell they're the good set because they come in a little plastic tray and not just a not just a box. That's because they're preserving the oils, you know? Scoot that along, and then since we got more space for it, let's just do that. Let's get some more, more coinage. All right, let's try the hammer. Let's see if that if that'll work out here. Wow. Okay, hammer seems like the way to go. Damn, damn, these missile missile pencils are not doing well for me. Nope. There was one more. I almost didn't block that one. Did not expect it, so... Glad I caught it at the last minute there. Hmm. So, should I do the thousandfold arm yet? I think I should be okay. And we'll just... Uh, nope. That one. And then... This. There we go. Heal on up. And then we're gonna just do more hammering. Probably should have went and grabbed more accessories. Uh before this fight. Shit. No, I fucked that up. Excellent. Oh, almost to halfway. We're doing pretty good. Alright, just gotta watch out for the missiles. Wow. Block. 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 The block in this one's a lot easier. It has a much wider window. In a lot of the older games, it's like literally the half second that you push it is all that you get. So, thankfully, they removed that for later later iterations. I'm going to... Hmm, I have three moves. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this out one. And then I'm gonna... Two... Ooh, I was hoping to get another thing, but I gotta put the attack there to get anything out of this, so that's fine. That's fine. We're doing alright. Nice. Okay. Just gotta hit him with the hammer again. Ah, fuck. The timing on that is really hard. It's a much more fluid um, animation. It's not just a beep, 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 boop, which is actually how they record ADR in voiceover. A little behind the scenes for you. Whenever they record anything that looks like it's dubbed over in a movie, they'll do those beeps and boops to uh, make sure that it's it's all lined up. Especially in like anime dubbing. Oh no. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Oh, that's definitely bad. Oh no. All right, use the arrows. I think now is the time. Yeah, now is the time to use the hand. So I just gotta 
Uh, da, 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 da. And then... There we go. Oh, well, I didn't have to do it that many times, but that works. Just gotta turn it on first. And we go. Mario's turn. Thousand fold arms. Magic circle on. Ooh, and grab. Got him. Slam him. Ugh. Slam him. Get him. Whoa. Ah, almost, almost got him. Bent, bent his foil all the hell up. That's satisfying. Oh, shoot. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry, didn't see you calling. Uh, one second, I gotta adjust a couple things to bring you on. Da -da -da. Uh, monitor off. Turn that up. Turn that down. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Sorry for the sudden static, guys. Had to uh, fix... The cable on this microphone is loose because it's a cheap boom arm, so it kind of just starts fuzzing up if it uh, loosens up a little bit. How far in the game have you gotten now, Andrew? I've got four Velementals. Oh, damn. I'm about to pop the fourth uh, ribbon. Mm-hmm. And then I'll have... One more ribbon and then castle. Nice. There's probably six elementals, judging from how many I've played, considering the ones I've just encountered. Right. Okay. How much? How much have you actually like? Time-wise, how long have you been playing? Mm, I have no idea. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, there's that side-scroller line you mentioned on the last stream. Yep. I had way less trouble. I don't know what it was with the Velmental fight. I was just so overthinking that. Uh, I think it's because you had to be in the specific positions to get that guy, and then in this one, uh, it wasn't as necessary, but... Got through that one. First try. Yeah, it was easier. Um, they get harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the one that you're excited to see me suffer with. Has Coco gotten that far yet? No, Coco, um, Coco is trying to stay, like, in pace with me, so Coco got a lot further ahead, but now is waiting until I get a little further ahead to try and not, like, spoil anything for me, but not get spoiled by anything that I'm doing by too much. Well, Ew. We're... we're figuring it out. Thankfully, with this... I'm seeing, mm. uh, there's gonna be, like, six elementals because otherwise it just disrupts the flow of the game. Right. Um, there's gonna be... I don't know what the last... Like, there's definitely gonna be a wind one. Like, earth, fire, wind, water. Oh, sure. Um, Heart, know, like, perhaps? Six... Well, I mean, ice is one of them, so... Mm, okay, so we're going with the frozen style of elements. I guess, so I don't know what the sixth one will be. Love. Well, wait, that's the fifth element. Shit. No, the fifth element was a movie. It was a movie, and in the movie, the fifth element was love. It was very cheesy. It's the trial of courage of almost three challenges. What's that? I will tell you one thing. It gets very fun mm -hmm. after, like, uh, one point. I will spoil one thing because it's not really much of a spoiler. It's just really fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You go to a desert at one point in the game. Mm -hmm. And the... Uh, uh, Oh, smack that telescope from the other end. I, uh, yeah, I kind of, that kind of spooked me when it opened up and toad face. Yeah. Um, this, the desert mm -hmm. is, you know, obviously sand. Paper. Oh. It's sandpaper. Oh my god. 
That's yeah. adorable. I, I'm, uh-huh. yeah, the more this is ramping up, I was saying, like, right before you got on, um, I'm playing a bit more of Sticker Star, and while, like, aesthetically they're pretty similar, but in reality it's like, this game has really fun gameplay with kind of, eh, storytelling. At, at least with the tutorializing, it's, it's really kind of frustrating. But then Sticker Star is a lot better about, like, letting you solve the puzzles on your own, and the puzzles are pretty fun. But the battles are so tedious. Oh, I hope that's close enough. Oh, yeah, it's plenty. Mm -hmm. All right. I had to face a trial of courage. Oh, boy. It was basically a game of chicken. Right, right. Do you you know how to play chicken? Uh, Which version? Because there are quite a few, but there's the classic car one for sure which is which is you both drive at each other and if one of you turns they're the chicken and the other guy gets the girl the trick to that is you have a car is you look at the other guy and you take your steering wheel off and it's like okay turn or die those are your choices (laughs) yeah so uh it's usually car or bike and Mm -hmm. you drive at an obstacle whether each other or a wall or a cliff first one to stop loses yeah the rebel without a cause one was a a cliff which was i mean that movie's a classic but uh i don't know how well it holds up i haven't watched it since high school um so basically you're you're doing a variation of that Mm. where you're dropping an item you have to stop it below a certain line. Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's not much the of tram. a uh, It's not much of a spoiler. Oh, sure. I mean, it, this story it. isn't Fuck. that deep, so, like, I can more or less figure out what's going on. I think the only thing you could really spoil is, like, jokes, for the most part. I gotta do it again. Ah, oh, shit. One subtle thing that I didn't point out, um, when you go into the tower, uh, they do a really simple pacing thing that's pretty brilliant. Um, should I go back to town before I get on the tram and, like, load up on accessories? Um. Or will they be. Can. Will there be an accessory shop where I'm going? I mean, usually, but you have to rescue whoever it is. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to town. I haven't actually checked the accessory what, shop what yet. What accessories do you have? None. That's yeah. Oh yeah, then go get them. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go get them. Um, but yeah, at the beginning of that, there is a uh, the first hole you encounter. You have to use a full bag of confetti to cross. So uh-huh. when the next one going up the stairs is there, it forces you to explore to find more confetti to progress. And it's, it feels perfectly organic within the system. It's I, I really like that. That's a really smart little thing to control the pacing without it feeling forced. Oh, go to that house that was wrapped up in ribbons as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, wasn't that the tram? No. Okay. Um, that was over to the right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, whoop. Can I get past these guys? Can I drop past them? Shit, no. I dropped right on top of them. God damn it. It's over, like, next to the temple. Mm. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think I'm in... in... <laughs> I don't even need to go this direction, but, uh, whatever. I can get some coins for accessories. God, the directions on the, the rings, whether you're doing them, like, in line or whether you're doing them uh, in a ring, is a little confusing. Because the perspective, like, which direction you should point to control it changes based on the perspective, really? It's it's a little confusing, but not so much that it's uh, frustrating. At least not yet. Fuck. No. This one sucks. Yeah? You get into the hard part of the game? It's just a game of chicken that you have to play three times. Right. And the, like... You're dropping shit on your head. Wait, should I? And if you don't stop it in time, you just fucking get hit. Oof. I have to start over. Um. 
Am fucking I being difficult. Stupid here. I don't. I don't know why I can't wrap my brain around some of these puzzles. Just use the toads, man. Like. I guess, cheaper. yeah. About 500 coins is enough to do it. To just win the battle? No, to like get it lined up either enough for you to figure it out more easily in one move or to like line them up for you. Hmm. Like five to six hundred usually does it. Shit. More than that, you're just like giving yourself items or healing. Huh. I mean, I haven't had too much trouble yet. I don't think it's going to be until a ways later that it's going to really matter that much. This is the Trial of Wisdom. Overcome its challenges to secure the MacGuffin. Trial of Wisdom. You stupid? Yes or no? No? Who can truly know Very anything? Wise. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> is it a trick question or something? No. Don't, don't give me the answer, but like... <laughs> um... It definitely it's... sounds like it's real corny, whatever they did. Hmm? Down here? No. Shit, it's only been a day, but I've like completely lost my bearings of this area. Hold on, I can I remember the way around it. here. You know how every Paper Mario has a... a uh... Fucking... What's the word I'm looking for here? Hmm game show section. Oh, yeah, like a quiz something. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, okay. So it's not really a spoiler if it's in every Mario game. Oh, sure. So is it just a trivia thing like the other ones were? Yeah. It's <laughs> questions like... Like, the first one was about something that happened in the game. The second one is, like, a logical fallacy. Mmm... Like, yeah, I gotta say, our Super Mario RPG had the hardest of that shit because it was basically just like spatial reasoning puzzles with like the yeah. the the peg solitaire, the lights out. Um, ah, oh, hell, the last one's multiple nymped. choice. The nymphed one, I I didn't have a problem with it necessarily, but it threw me off because usually nymphed, um, you take one or two. And it's a multiple of three. And basically you just take whatever the other person didn't take to add up to three. I think. It's been a while. Alright. So, the last one is a logic puzzle. Mm. And I actually know how to solve these. Nice. It, it happens to be, like... It's a step removed from the silly, uh... Like... You have a door with two guards. One always tells the truth. Oh, one always yeah. lies. And a... I was I was half expecting that in um in uh, uh RPG when I went through one of the puzzle ones. I was like, are they gonna pull this nonsense? So it's a variation on that. It's a lot on the surface. It's crueler and harder because mm -hmm. they add more people and you don't ask a question. You're only given statements. And you, so you can't control the commentary. Okay. But it's... Once you solve, like... You... So... You got three people, one's a liar. You gotta figure out which one's the liar. Mm -hmm. So the way you solve the puzzle is... You presume an answer, right? Then right. You, you know two people must be telling the truth one must be lying so you see all right if we assume a is telling the truth or uh if we assume a is the liar does a's commentary on all this coincide or line up and make sense in uh commentary with the other two right so uh if not then your answer is incorrect so you just move on to the next and say, alright, well, if B is telling the lie, does that make sense in relation to A and C and their comments? Does that, uh, do A and C's comments together ring true, etc., etc.? Hmm. So it sounds hard and like a, you know, 
33% chance guess. Well, yeah, that's the thing, too, is it sounds hard when you lay it out like that, but then if you actually have the variables in place when you're thinking about it, it makes a lot more sense, logically. Yeah. It's just difficult when being told in that manner. In general, it's just the, the whole thing is, like, you can assume no prior knowledge, so you basically just have to figure out what question to ask that is based on the current situation you're in and what little you know about them, which is that one of them's a liar. All right, so I'm gonna give you a riddle. Sure. That is one that even when I know the answer, I always get it wrong uh, when okay. I hear it again. Where is the, first off, where's the accessory shop? I just found the To the left shop. of the main entrance. Left it's, of the main, uh, oh, that far forward, okay. Yeah. All right, give me the. Well, not the like riddle. not outside the town, but like if you go to the main entrance. Hmm. So like where you just turned to go down, it's the second house on your left. No, that's not it. Or past the brown house, past the second house, and then there's a third house, and it's the third house on the left outside. Third. Oh, I see. There's the guy. Two doors down from the. Like it'll have a sign out front. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. That's the one. Yeah, the, the um, guy's still standing out front of it because I haven't visited yet. Um, oh, so you've got ten prisoners. Ten prisoners, in okay. In prison. Uh, the warden tells them that tomorrow she will line them up and put hats on their head. Either red or green hats. Mm -hmm. They are only allowed to guess what color hat they are wearing. If they say anything else... They will die. If they get it wrong, they will die. Hmm. The person at the back can see everyone in front of them. The per and you're not allowed to look behind you or obviously check your own hat. Okay, so they're lined up, not looking... Uh, so lined up, like, back to front, not, like, side to side, like a shooting right. range. Right. Okay. So you can see everyone in front of you, but that's it. Hmm. And you're not allowed to Jeez. look behind. Right. Okay. She starts. She starts at the back, and that person has to guess, and then everyone in front uh, guesses after that. Mm -hmm. the prisoners are not allowed to talk to each other once the hats are on, but they are allowed to discuss their plan the night before in order to avoid death. Okay. What do they do to minimize the number of deaths? Uh. Keep in mind, you can't just say the color of the hat in front of you, because that person would still have to guess the color of the hat in front of them. Right. In other words, so, like, if I'm at the back of the line and I just say the color of your hat, and you say the color of the hat in front of you, then you're fucked. Like, you're going right. to Right, yeah, you can only do it and so many times. Okay, um... So, what can they... Now, it's still possible that there are deaths... But what is the way to minimize the number of deaths? Sure. Um, and did she tell them beforehand how many there would be of each? Like, is it a 50-50? Nope. Or it, just that there will be green, there will be red? Mix. It's a complete random mix. As far as the prisoners know, it could all be one color or the other. It could be an even mix. It could be one of one color, etc. Mm-hmm. So all we know is that there is at least one green, at least one red. Or no green or no red. Oh. It, it could all be green. It could all be red. Okay. This is a mm. fucked up situation. Yep. But there is a way to minimize the deaths to almost zero, but potentially just one. Hmm. What do they do to keep from being killed? Or to save as many of them as possible? <sighs> keep in mind, we'll, we'll presume they're lined up tallest to shortest, so that everyone can see every hat cleanly. Sure. And no one's wiggling around or hiding their head or anything. Um, I mean, I'd say plan for whoever's in the back to just shout out what everybody in front of him is wearing, because then he'll be put to death, but then everybody else just knows. No, there's a better answer. That, there's a better um, answer, okay. Yeah, and the better answer could save his life 
50-50. Hmm. Um. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Let me think. Um, what is it? Uh. 50-50. So. To be clear, does she state whether they were right or not after they have guessed? Uh, doesn't matter, but we'll assume that if you guess wrong, you're immediately shot. Okay. But there is a doesn't way for matter. everyone, for the other nine, to know for sure what color their hat is, so. Hmm. There is a definite answer. Um... Hmm. That's a that's a good one. Uh every time I hear I'm like, I have no idea how to solve this, and then I hear the answer, I'm like, fuck, yeah. Cause it's always like months apart that I hear it, and I'm like, I have forgotten the answer. I'm gonna say God damn it. Is it just like a logical thing? It's not like a, a trick, right? It is logical. There's no... I mean, there's a bit of... I guess you could call it a trick, but it's more a trick of math than anything. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like a statistical thing, basically. Not really. Like, it's, it's pretty logical. It, okay. Everyone involved has to be intelligent, but... Right. But it, it's... Pretty logical. Hmm. Everybody guesses green. No. Damn. Give up. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Uh. If you're the person at the back, you guess, or you count the number of uh hats in front of you. Whichever mm -hmm. one is odd, you call out that color. Oh, okay. So then... So if you see an right. odd number of red hats, you call out red. The person next in line can look and see, all right, well now I see an even number of red hats. I will call out red because I therefore must be the odd red hat. Sure. The next person in line, let's assume they have a green hat, sees, ah, I see an even number of reds. The last guy was odd. Therefore, I must be green. Right. All the way down the line. Uh, the be, reason... Where's this toad? Where's this toad at? There's gotta be one more. Watch the flash above your head. Yeah. And when it starts to flash... Oh, your thing's dead. Damn it. I, I just, like, stumbled on them the other times and was able to see the flash, like, go faster, but I couldn't really tell a difference. It was going in such small they, increments. It flashes... When it turns, it will flash once in the direction you need to head. Mm. And it will get more... Uh... Oh, my God. No, I'm fucked. Oh, no. God damn it. God damn it. Um Okay, so where where was this other house? I don't recall. Like the temple's down there. Then if I go up to What are you the, looking for? The the house that was covered like the the toad radar was here. Yeah, that was it. Oh, that was it? Off. Okay, that was to the left, so that was what was confusing me. Because you said the right, but... <laughs> okay. Heading along to the tram, then. Uh, it, mm, I Fuck! I just have to go back up. This sucked. Yeah. Oh, my God. How many I moments have you had care. like that playing? Oh, all of them. Hmm. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. 
All right, heading for the tram and for the uh, apparently disappointing Bob Omb, according to Andrew. Although we'll find out how disappointing, how disappointing we find him in just a short bit. I have seen his little intro animation, which was cute. Oh, fuck, why didn't I just go to the thing? Uh, let me go through here, actually, so that I can know where this leads. I know it leads to the pipe room, but I don't... I can't remember where the pipe room is because I haven't been there and I didn't see uh, where Coco went in and out for it. Uh, there's a white pipe. White pipe. And the white... Oh, it's in the museum. Okay. Yeah, I'm still building a mental map of this place. The test of strength. I highly recommend you fucking practice your goddamn hammering. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that's the hard one. Yeah, it is. You have to get fucking excellence a bunch of times. Quickly. Oof. The test of courage is a game of chicken. The mm -hmm. test of wisdom is a game of trivia. Okay. Those are fine. Try the test of fucking. Let, let me read it again, cause maybe I misread something. Mm. God. So, did you see who the uh, writer of that um destroy all the blocks with any type of? Do you see who the, uh, driver, we'll call him, of that, uh, submarine was? Captain... Captain Tiud? Yeah, you find out later they're just wrong about the pronunciation. It's one of those things where, like, um, no, I think I would know better <laughs> than the person. Yeah. Because it's Captain T O D. Oh... I figured it was like, just Captain Toad, because, uh, he's, like, a whole character at this point. No, he's just, like, some, like, ancient being that you discover trapped in ice. Oh, Jesus. And he's like, my name is Captain T. Ode. And, like, the, uh, guy you helped discover him is like, Captain T. Ode? He must mean, oh, Captain T. Ode. Is that who you are? Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm Captain Toad. <laughs> like Captain T O like Captain T dot Ode. It's motherfucking Bob. Reminds me of the You may now wield your mighty hammer. Press B to raise your hammer, then press A at the right moment to land an excellent attack. Oof. That's the one that's like slightly after. It's like it's like you hit it just after it peaks with the little like orange thing. I don't yeah. I the timing on it is real difficult. Yeah, it is. I can hit a great most times, but the the excellent is Well, I would fucking practice, bitch. All right. I'll keep that it's in mind. Me, bitch. What? I like how, um, because he's, like, sitting down, Bob is kind of, like, gently folded. Fucking bullshit! <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to get the, to that to that point. Oh, thank sweet baby Jesus in all ten toes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Holy shit. I came up with that last night after I finally beat something in this damn game. And Maddie just looked over at me and said, What do his ten toes have to do with it? I said, I don't know, but they get thanks included. Fucking smash this great nail into the floor within the time provided. Oh my titty farting Christ. Stand atop the nail and this task shall be explained further. I bet I have to do... More hammering. Mm-hmm. Or is this where I get, like, some good jumpage? Oh, shit. You use both hammer and boots. I got a... Here's a question. 
how like pertinent is it to save as many toads as possible? Because I can go back and like just go the on a toad hunt. The more you save, uh huh. The more you save, the more fill the stands during your battles. Right. And the more the fill your stands during the battles, the better your results are when you call on them for help in fights. Ah, I almost never do. Should I be calling them more? Yeah, hell yeah, it's cheap. Okay. Press B to raise your hammer, then A at the right moment to land an excellent attack. Jump with A, then press A again as you land the chain attacks for a maximum combo of four jumps. I like, I gotta say, I really like the Toad Hunt. It feels like Where's Waldo, or Where's Wally for any British viewers out there. Um, it's, uh, it's a really just fun mechanic. Fun fact. God, that one was so much easier. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a point where you get some decent boots. Oh, um, yeah. And, like, I don't know when it is, because they don't tell you. Hmm. Like, it's not obvious. Okay. But you can start doing multi-jumps on some bosses, like the the stationary bosses. Oh, okay. I did a multi-jump on the boss earlier, and I don't think I got anything special before yeah, that. Yeah, so I think it's just that, but, like, practice that when you can, because hmm. that will help you so much in the Trial of Power. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's all over the place. That's like the main thing in Sticker right. Star is the uh, multi jumps. The like the kind of hard stuff that you there's not a puzzle to solve how to do it. I don't mind spoiling and telling you what to do. Mm. Like, there's no puzzle to solve in like timing a uh, hammer blow. Right. So that, um, but like not stuff sure. you have to figure out. Oh, I'm not gonna help you with. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna. Watch you oh man, suffer. there are some. There are some tiny, tiny little uh, not bottomless holes in, like, a lot of shadows in this one. I'm gonna have to be more yeah, you attentive. Hit you hit them. Hmm? And you'll get things. No, no, I mean the ones you gotta, like, hit with confetti. Oh, then the... Yeah. They, if you Hold look on, on the... If you look on the info screen, um, under the percentages and stuff, that's what yeah. the, those are called is not bottomless holes. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take a quick biology break. You know, um, I probably should too, so we're just gonna take a break real quick, folks. Be our beat. Later. All right, back. Here we go. Uh, whoops, I already went over there. Don't wanna, don't wanna waste too much time. Yeah, fine, I'll follow him. God damn it. That's another big pet peeve I have when they don't want you to explore. They want you specifically to go to a point, and uh, unlike earlier where they controlled that through subtle environmental things. 
In this case, they just kind of force you into it, so that's that's annoying. Oh yeah, Bob Ong sucks. Yeah. Well, I mostly am pissed off with Olivia because it's like, if you try and walk it. past whatever point triggers her yeah. to go like, oh, are you sure you should go? We shouldn't go and help. It's like, yes, eventually. Bob Ong gets worse about that at one point in the game because mm. I wanted to explore where I was. And it turns out the thing I wanted to do was the thing we had to do any damn way. God damn it. Hey, you'll you'll hate Bob Om here in about mm, seven minutes. Right. It, it will not take long before you hate Bob Om. You can't get past that way, you have to go around the long way. Yeah. No, I get it. You know, since I mentioned Where's Waldo? I'd like to share a bit of a uh, Where's Waldo fun fact, I guess. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, originally, Where's Waldo would always be like just Waldo himself, and you had to find him in this picture of other people who seemed to all dress like Waldo, which was you know supposed to be the challenge to it. But um, back, but then they were like, okay, Waldo, Waldo's one thing. But then they were like, let's include some other characters so they added his dog a lady waldo a wizard for some reason but then they added his uh his rival oddlaw which if you can already guess is just waldo backwards um and he's like he has an evil face and he's got a yellow and black shirt instead of the red and white it's a fun stuff whatever but the thing is when they did that because it is an american production and they ported it over to England as Where's Wally, they still called him Oddlaw instead of Illaw, whatever that would be. Which seems, uh, seems kind of lazy. Because, well, no, it's because Waldo is, you know, the long form of Wally. Yeah, uh, most of the time. Uh, well, it's usually Wallace nowadays. Or Back Walter, in the or... Yeah, back in the day, Waldo was a more common name, like Ralph Waldo Emerson. Although I guess that was a middle name, but it's uh, fallen out of popularity in the modern day. Sounds too much like a sex toy that you mount to a wall. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually uh, the one of the technical terms for a bionic arm is a Waldo, because he made the... Uh, the the story the bionic arm back in the day hmm. alternatively it sounds like uh the original name for play-doh because that's what it originally was was wall dough yeah it was like uh it was more a like cleaner a, yeah which it's still pretty useful for you can still well not in the manner it was designed I mean, it's not the most sturdy, but, like, you can do that. Or more well, no, so, like... If, so, unless you live in a house that has a wood-burning stove and you get sooty walls, or a house that uses uh, fire for a light source, like a lot of candles or oil lamps or gas lamps, things like that, mm -hmm. it's not a problem you would understand, necessarily. Okay. But walls would get extremely dirty and sooty. And so Plato was developed as a cleaner that you would rub on the wall the way, like, basically it was silly putty that you would, you know, rub on the wall and get the soot off the way you can with newspapers and silly putty. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then when, you know, that stopped being a thing, people, the, like, developer or manufacturer was like, shit! What do we call this Waldo? Hmm. What indeed? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Shave his balls with a rusty razor. Shave his balls with a rusty razor. That's the cruel, like... That's fucked there's up. There's a lot of cruel ones in that, but shave someone's balls with a rusty razor. Oh yeah, and to keep in mind, like... Back in those days, unless you were, like, a trained barber, it was generally the average person was not going to be skilled enough with a razor not to cut the hell out of themselves. 
Oh, by the way, there's, like, puzzles to solve later in the game, like, really easy puzzles. Mm. They fucking, they're fucking cruel. They treat you like a child if you, like, you clearly, how many times would you want to fail a puzzle before it started to help you? Like, because for me, I'll fail the first time. The second time, I'll be like, oh, okay, I see where this is going. And then by the third time, I know exactly what to do. Right. So how many times would you want to fail before it, like, starts holding your hand? Five. Five. By yeah. The, if by the, I've failed five times in a row, then give me a hint. And usually that hint on is the, enough. It does it after you've failed twice. What the So fuck? the third time you go to do it, it's... Yeah. So fucking cruel. It's so you fucking feel like annoying fucking... more than anything. God damn it, I hate that shit. And it's subtle, but, like, if you get really bad at it, it will be more obvious. Mm. But, yeah, like, by the third time, it's just holding your hand. I'm like, don't do that. I'm not that bad. No. Give me a minute. God damn it, I keep forgetting to... But in half the, the time, like, the last time it happened, I didn't even realize I was in the middle of a puzzle mm. to, like, have that happen. So that just made it more infuriating. Like, that made it so much worse. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, this was a puzzle I had to solve. So I go to do it the third time, and it's like, here's the correct path! The frustrating Fuck. thing is, I wonder how much of that is shit they would have done in the past if they had the technology to do so like if we you played something like a super mario rpg and they had the capabilities to do shit like that would they have done that more maybe uh weapons what there we go i mean they had the capability what what Shiny it's just boots. a question of like a lot of american versions of video games are a lot harder than the japanese versions Really? Yeah. Aaron talks about it with uh, Mega Man saying, in Japan, there's just one setting for Mega Man. Mm. In America, there is hard and easy. In oh, Japan, wait, it's uh, just the hard setting. You said it the, the opposite way around. You said it was harder in America. Oh, no, in, in Japan. Yeah. Um, games are just harder, you know, there by default. And then you got a game like, um, what was it? Super Mario 2. The reason we have a different Super Mario 2 is because the Japanese version was too hard for Americans. Or, well, at least they thought as much. Uh, have you played it? It is. I mean, it's tricky. I will not deny. No, it sucks. As someone who can barely enjoy the original Super Mario, it sucks. Well, to be honest, the original Super Mario kind of sucks, too. Because it, it was, like, much, much fucking harder than it uh, it needed to be because of its controls. It's like, it, the movement is, like, so fucking slippery. Um, I won't say who it is, but there's somebody you and I both know who didn't play Super Mario until they were in college. Really? And watching as I grew up with it. Mm -hmm. Watching this, you know, friend of ours who didn't struggle to play the original Super Mario for the first time. And I, how far do you think they got? World 4. Oh no, you're being way too generous. Oh my god. They didn't get past the first pipe. <laughs> Yeah. How? Couldn't make it over the pipe. Could not? Could not. Goddamn. Uh-huh. These lineups, I'm either doing them incredibly wrong Just or... do the toad thing. What else are you going to spend the money on? I did the toad thing. It didn't really do that much. You could do it again. It did. Well, yeah, but then it's How like... How much did you spend? It only did two damage to one of the guys. It's like, that's hardly worth my time for how long the fucking animation is. How much did you spend? 
don't know, whatever it defaulted to? No, you can hold it down and spend more. Hmm. So you spend around 500 coins up to 999. Right. Try it now. I'm do it, trying it, and nothing's happening, so... Oh, I guess you can only do it at the beginning, then. Fucking... You can buy time, though. I mean, I don't really need to. This isn't that hard of a fight. It's just frustrating to me, because I feel like I'm completely misunderstanding the lineups, because the way that they've set it up half of the time, it's not possible to do a perfect. As far as I can tell. Eh, you'll get better at it. Or you'll just struggle. Maybe I'm just good at this kind of stuff. Hmm. Oh, I'm him with the shiny boots. He. Yep. Yep. We are. Man, I hope like hell Aaron and Danny are playing this already. Oh. Oh, definitely. I I'm curious see Danny. if. Oh, it, uh, maybe I'm pretty sure Danny does have a switch now since they've been playing um. Uh, uh, 51 Clubhouse games. Yeah. Yeah, so... There's a chance... I love that Dan, or Aaron, bought him a, a fucking computer so that he could play, um... What was it? Uh, Soviet Jump Game. Oh, I haven't watched that one yet. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Aaron bought Danny a computer. I mean, so why not, they... dude? They're they're doing pretty well as a business, and like, it's that's a business expense. It's uh being used for their work. Yeah, it, it was very sweet. Like, it's just one of those little things where you're like, eh. Hmm. Um. I will say the one enemy type that I can't fucking stand in this game is mm. the, uh, booze. Oh, I haven't run into any booze yet, I don't think. No, When no, you I go can't. to do the, the thing on the, uh, uh, grid, they disappear, so you can't see them until the battle starts. Mmm. What was the line in that song, Shack him up Wait. Something about the captain's daughter. Uh... Oh, shit, I don't remember. Dun 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 to the captain's daughter, dun dun to the captain's daughter, dun 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 to the captain's daughter, early in the morning. Ayo, and up she rises, ayo, and up she rises, ayo, and up she rises, early in the morning. Early in the morning. Depends on which version you're listening to, my friend. I've m pretty much every version I've listened to, it's Erli. Because it's like, it's a sea shanty, but I'm pretty sure it's also specifically an Irish sea shanty. And you think we Irish can't say the word early? It's not generally in the... Well, I mean, I guess it depends on which part of Ireland. There's about f at least four different you're accents. You're implying that the Irish don't know how to speak English when it was forced down our throats. Hmm. God, Why Olivia is get... so fucking dumb. I don't know why I went cockney there at the end, but... Yeah, you kinda, you kinda flipped into a few different things there. Mm. <sighs> God damn it. my cockney. I mean, the thing is, Bob is not really any more annoying. It's just that he's doing the same nope. shit that Olivia's doing. Nope, nope, nope. You've not gotten to it yet. Hmm. I assure you, Bob is worse. And it's gonna happen right about the time you cross that bridge. Oh boy. It's gonna start there and last up until you get to the desert. Can I, can I walk? Damn. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and up she rises. Hey, and up she rises. Oh okay, wow, well, I... it's the fucking magic circle for the water one. Oh fuck. I couldn't see that shining brightly from the corner of the fucking screen before. Okay, I've done the thing. I found the thing. 
Mm -hmm. I've dumped the head to the couch. Fucking, what do I do? Ooh, wheat. Don't get lost. Oh shit, oh shit. Watch out, it's a shy guy. Ah, oh, there he went. Oh shit. Also, with the uh, booze, it actually is a really good idea to use the toads because they'll throw shit onto the field, which uh, exposes where they're at hmm. after they've mined them up for you. <laughs> so. Okay. I mean, I'll helpful. use them more now. I just didn't uh, didn't see much point because every time I used them, they weren't doing anything exceptionally interesting. They're helpful. Hmm. I feel like I should have the toad tracker on, but it's... Yeah. How do I fucking turn this shit on? Uh, there. Oh, you don't even get to the bridge before Bob Bomb gets annoying. That's right. It starts here. Hmm. God, the more I think about this level, the longer it seems like it was. Uh, fuck this. Like when you're really playing, hard. the levels don't seem that long, but God, this one, this one, I remember being a lot longer. Hmm. Okay, I have what I need. A tiny house, Olivia. That's offensive. This is a fucking shrine. Hey, how some people choose to live their lives and what homes they have, that's up to them. No. Okay, I have the MacGuffins. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck am I supposed to take the MacGuffins? You take the MacGuffin to the Deus Ex Machina, and it helps you out. Going on? <laughs> okay, so I don't go to the fucking... Yeah. Let's see. Not there, not there, not there, not there, oh, not come there. Come on, not it there. won't even... It won't just have an invisible wall, they have to have Olivia actually directly say, like, don't jump off. Just fucking put an invisible wall there. Fuck's sake, people. We figured out these solutions, like, decades ago. Oh, don't worry. You can jump off it later. You'll have to. Good. Give me a sign. That's a sign. only a minor spoiler. Wait. I mean, I figured as much. That's why There's she's no there, way... because they're... That's why she's there. There is no invisible wall. You actually do have to jump off. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, but wouldn't it have been easier it, to program just an invisible wall there and remove it? Hey, maybe? Iggy, where's Bob Bomb? Oh, wait, where is Bob Bomb? He ran up ahead when you, you got separated in the tall grass. Did he? I thought he was just lost. Oh, Bench. Mm. Sick. What about my family name? What about your family name? Bench. A bench? No, no, you see, it's a bencha. A benja. When, when my son was little, he couldn't pronounce our last name properly. Mm -hmm. So he would call himself, uh... I won't say his real first name, I'll make one up. But his he he would call himself uh, Jacob Bench. Mm. My name is Jacob Bench. I'm like nice. it's not even Ben. It's Benj. Oh God! G oh God! He's being faxed. Get him okay, out of there. It's... This sucks. Oh boy. Oh wow, so it is just like a fax. Yeah, fax. it's your fax travel. Oh my god. Well, you don't like that? Oh, I'm just mad that it took me two two times hearing it to realize the pun. 
You, you like it? I mean, that's. I'm shocked Solid that fun, hasn't. Right? I haven't. Uh, I'm shocked that hasn't been in a Paper Mario game before now. Seems like uh, such a uh, a clear, clear way to do it. I guess they haven't really had like, much fast travel. It's kind of redundant, though. Like, you already have a form of fast travel. Yeah, the warp pipes, so that's... But, in fairness, the warp pipes are a slower, more difficult form. Mm -hmm. And you have to earn them. And, like, that's what they did in the fucking other Paper Mario games. Like, you had to... Like, you didn't get to fast travel somewhere you'd already been that quickly hmm. you had to fucking earn that shit late in the game mm. uh like you did with uh oh wait so city. actually looking at this they don't expect you to um to to do it from what they give you like the toads are integral to the fighting system okay to a degree yeah shit Get fucked, Goombas. I would ask love, for you. Whoa. I would love if somebody just like fucked a Goomba. Mm. Yes. I, in fact, I'm sure that one Goomba would be really into it. <laughs> the one we saw early on. Uh... Was like, oh my god, the Mario! I hope you stomp on me. I mean, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that part out loud? Like the, it's like the one meme of uh, Darth Vader choking the one guy, and he's just, Harder Daddy! What? What? But with the Goombas... Say it out loud? Uh, harder, Mario! What? I said harder, bitch! Oh. Ah. The boots. <sighs> yump. Uh... Yump. 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 I do like this game a hell of a lot better than I liked Color Splash. Okay, I still haven't played that one, um, but by my understanding, Sticker Star is pretty similar, and that one isn't um, great. But playing it again, the puzzle so, solving is pretty fun, at least. So the way Color Splash worked was it was card battle. Right. So if you were okay with... Um, what was it? Fucking, um... The Castle Oblivion fucking Kingdom Hearts Oh, game. yeah. I mean, that's the... Yeah, that's the best one, dude. Alright, uh... Our friendship's over, I guess. I I've said this many times. That's the best one. By a long shot. It has the most interesting, like, uh... It has the most interesting combat system, and it is actually a very well-put-together card game. No, it sucks. Um... Whatever you say. I say that it sucks. Um, yeah, that one. But imagine you had to go around the world around you, bashing on things, to like the way you do for the confetti here. Mm -hmm. Imagine you had to do that, but you got little bits of paint. Mm. And you had to do that to get... Uh, the ink necessary to fill in the fucking cards where uh, they weren't effective. Right. Um, Sticker Star is pretty much that, uh, but instead you just find... Each move is based on a sticker, and it'll, yeah. just be, it'll just be stuck to stuff, and you just have to grab it. So when you get one, you get to use that move, but you only get to use it the one time. So you might get, like, a Same ton with of... the cards. Yeah. So, but imagine another layer of difficulty on that. Hmm. That's what we're discussing here. Like, that's what this game was. Okay. I actually hated Sticker Star the most. Yeah, no, it's not very good. I, I've been playing through it, and it's tolerable to, an, to a degree, but like... It's the only one I gave up on halfway through. I've, I've given up on it. Never... Like, this is my third time trying to play it, and I, I think I might be able to get through it, but I still have not gotten to the point where I always end up giving up, so we'll see. Uh, the only reason I gave up on Color Splash without finishing was I got to the final fight... Mm -hmm. And it was just impossible to make it that far with what you needed. So I'm just like, no, I'm done. I, I'm done. 
Yeah. I'm fucking finished. I'm done. This is bullshit. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much where I'm at with Super Mario RPG. I just got to a point where I can't go f any fucking farther forward. Yeah, but at least with that, you can cheat. That's true. Man, that's something that they don't put in games anymore, really. <laughs> well, like, like the comedy games do. So, like, uh, well, not, um, Saints Row, you get their cheat codes. Well, yeah, but that's, like, but that's I his reference more than it is, uh, an actual, like, attempt yeah. at a, a weird jury-rigged game mechanic. Yeah, and I honestly really miss that shit. I know, right? I like, I, I can love... tell you, when I get to Legacy of Goku, uh, the the last two games are not too hard, but the the first one, you cannot beat it without an invincibility cheat. And it's pretty much just the Konami code. It's like half of the Konami code is just up, down, left, right, BA. It's fucking impossible. Um some of these games like yeah yeah like adding cheat codes makes them more fun like mm -hmm. not oh you just want to you don't want to try like no it's more fun to, to just run through a world and wreak havoc yeah like <laughs> oh yeah the most fun i had with doom as a kid is when i learned the no clip uh the the no clip cheat and just ran around uh, found, like, other levels that were, like, tucked inside of levels and stuff. It, it was yeah. a ton of fun. Um, I think that that cheat was... Each one started with just the word Doom. There was one specifically that I remember exactly. I can't remember what it stands for. Uh, that's Doom Spizpopta. It's S-P-I-S-P-O-P-D. And I think that's the God Mode cheat? Or maybe it's, like, an extra gore cheat. I can't remember... It stands for, like, Smashing Pumpkins is something, something, something. Mm, what was your favorite cheat, Andrew? Uh, Spider-Man 2 for the PS1. Yeah? Had some. So you can get, like, all the fucking costumes and unlock them. Nice. And then you could actually... Basically, do create a Spidey. Oh, sick! Yeah, you could get, you can pick the costume and superpowers he had, and uh, just create your own character, you know, your, your own Spider-Man for the game. Holy shit! <laughs> Sorry, I just ran into a toad, and it's the he literally was just like, did you know you can turn motion controls off? Yes, I'm very aware because I did it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So what point are you at? Did you go to the shrine yet? Because if not, you're wasting your time. Ah, uh, shit. I was going to grab the, the the monkey. You can't. Nope. Can't do the monkey yet. Never mind. I'm just kind of sidetracking and getting toads then. Uh, whop. Yeah, shit. I got to go all the way around again. Oh, uh, well. I don't mind doing a little sidetrack stuff. This isn't a speed run marathon or anything i'm just i'm just playing the oh, damn game you will mind because mm -hmm. you're gonna get pissed in a few minutes all right you keep you keep saying this we'll see go to the temple i'm going i mean you I'm have going. to go right to the doors of the temple let olivia spell everything out for you mm -hmm. god like this is the most obnoxious level in the game for that yeah Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I mean, it is still early on enough that I guess I can say that. I don't know. I'll have no, to see. No, no, no. I'll have to you see have... how bad it is first before I make any judgments on that. You have no idea. Hmm. Made it to the temple. We or the shrine, I guess. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, I wonder how I open it. I wonder how. Where's bob -omb, though, Iggy? Where is bob -omb?
You can't float down. Come on. How does this floating even work? Where's he at? Don't don't talk about his grass. Do not talk about his feet like this, Olivia, please. Yeah, don't make me question Bob Om anatomy. Mm. Fuck! Where where this boy at? I guess just go back to the grass. Cause I'm sure even if I figured out where he actually is, I'd have to trigger whatever cutscene is over there first. This is one of those fucking games. The ones where it's like, if you don't do things exactly step by step the way they want you to, <laughs> then you have to go back and do it, even if you already figured out steps. That was something that annoyed me about And then Ace it Eternal. will tell you the hmm. thing you already figured out. That was the thing that annoyed me about Ace Attorney pretty heavily was, uh, I, I figured out most of the early cases, like, immediately, because they're fucking obvious. It's Encyclopedia Brown shit. But, like, it, they still make you go through, like, giving them one piece of evidence at a time and on the specific things, and it's just, it can be really frustrating a lot of times. They don't really, most yeah. of those games don't really get good until, like, case three. Three. I've only played one Ace Attorney game and got really annoyed with it very mm. early on and stopped. Did, was it the first one? Because I started with the third one and I literally, I, I was so annoyed by the fact that I had already figured out the mystery way early on that I couldn't put it away. It's also that they literally spoil for you who the fucking murderer is every time. Which is like, on one hand, dramatic, but also annoying. I don't remember which one it was. I just know it was not one of the ones Aaron and Danny played. Hmm. Um. But did they play through the entire trilogy, or did they just do the uh, first one, I wonder? I can't remember. I know they played up until Edgeworth was fucking in jail. God in heaven help me if I that's, do this that's, one more time. That's the, uh, the first game, then. God damn it, Bob. Oh, I played the one with Professor Layton. I played the crossover. Oh, that's a bad place to start. Um, oh, I like Professor Layton, so I was trying to play through those Oh, games. same. I, I fucking love Professor Layton games. Because they're point and, basically point and click with a touch screen, which would be the best fucking way to do a point and click. And it's just fun fucking puzzles. Although, it did get pretty ridiculous. Uh, there was the, t the time travel one. I only played through the beginning. But after you go oh. into a casino and there's a puzzle where you're putting pieces together and you're like, wait, am I, what am I, what am I making here? And you're just putting roulette pieces and poker chips and eventually you realize like, oh, I'm making a gun. This yeah. is definitely what I wanted out of Professor Lane to make a fucking gun out of a roulette table <laughs> to fight Did off gangsters. What is this? No, I, I stopped right after that because I, I, I honestly, the story it? was kind of boring. Oh... I don't mind, but uh, somebody there listening was no might. There time travel. Uh, yeah, I figured as much. Like, because that's always the thing. It's like, oh, it's supernatural, but then by the end, it's like, nope. There was just some trick or gas or whatever nonsense that nope, was. None of that either. Hmm. This one was even more batshit crazy. I'm just saying, like, don't go into too much detail because somebody, somebody listening might care. <clears throat> uh, well, no, I'm gonna spoil the shit out of that when it's old enough. Alright. Um, there was no time travel at all. Right. No, I got I got I got that. I'm saying like I d I don't know how they tricked Future it, but Luke. it was pretty clear that it was some kind of trick. Future Luke was a kid who had a gripe with Layton. Um what? Okay. Yeah. And so he built an entire fake London under London. And set it ten years in the future. And when you went in that clockmaker's building to, like, get the... Uh, to go back in time. Mm -hmm. It was actually just an elevator. <laughs> yeah. Taking you below London. That, yeah. See, the reason I don't like that one as much is because it's, um... 
That's so fucking ridiculous. Well, it's similar. Uh, someone pointed out it's the same problem sh the BBC Sherlock with Bandit Cumberbatch had, which is that oh. it's a show that's a show written about smart people by dumb people. So they think that being smart is just basically having a fucking superpower. Um, and so similarly with the, that specific game, it's like, that's just dumb. That's a, d a dumb fucking plot. I don't know why you would go to that much fucking trouble to trick somebody when there's so many easier ways. I liked Sherlock. I... But... I liked it to a point. I felt like it was an okay adaptation, but honestly, I think I prefer the Guy Ritchie Sherlock's. <sighs> I don't know that I've seen those. The, that's the Robert Downey Jr. ones. I have not seen those. Yeah, I've seen those. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Robert Downey Jr. all that much. Like, oh, he's, he's perfect as Iron Man, and I can't stand him in anything else. I mean, except that weird ass movie he made in the '90s where he was possessed by a bunch of people who died in a bus accident. What the fuck? And he had to help them move on. I did not see that one. What the fuck is going oh, on here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see. I see. Yep, there's another another little alcove. I got it. Um, there, is a, there is a scene that is fairly questionable. Mm -hmm. So, like, the premise is a bunch of people, when he was, I think, being born, died in a bus accident. Hmm. And so they, and they possessed his body. Right. And he has to help them with whatever their, like, unfinished business is, so they can move on into the afterlife. Sure. And, um, one of the people is a black woman. Uh -huh. And, yeah. So, when, it's kind of like Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg. Sure. So, uh, just Robert Downey Jr., his body, but their spirits... Oh, no. So, Robert Downey Jr. acting like a sassy 90s black woman. Oh, no. That's the thing. is uh, That's an interesting concept, similar to, like, Split, where it's like, oh, okay, so this actor is going to be playing a bunch of different characters, not necessarily ones that make sense for him visually, but that's not... Uh, yeah, that I don't think that could be done well, no matter how respectfully you did it. I mean, quote-unquote respectfully. Credit, to his credit. To his credit. It wasn't the worst. Okay, okay. Um, I've seen... Like, it's just like, in when you consider the fact that, you know, he also played a character in blackface. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Well, th in that one... It's really uncomfortable to watch him at, at times. It's in like... that one specifically, he was playing an actor playing a person in blackface as a black stereotype. Yes. It was satire, That's... but it was also... It, it was yeah. intentionally very uncomfortable to watch. Like, you were not supposed to feel comfortable or okay with any part of that. That's the point they're making. They didn't do it very well. Didn't they? Were you uncomfortable? Because, like, that's what they were trying to do. No, like, everyone I know who watched that movie laughed at that and loved Ooh, it. yikes. Okay. You forget we are in the South. Well, it's also, like, that That was why Chappelle stopped Chappelle's show, is because there were too many people who, uh, did not get, did not get the comedy and were, uh, yeah, enjoying it for... If not the wrong reasons, at least, um, pretty not uncomfortable right reasons. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, oh, shit, we got Galoombas. Yeah, I like that they included Galoombas. I think these, this is the first time Galoombas actually appear in Paper Mario. Hell yeah. Unless they were in Color Splash or Super Paper Mario, and I just don't fucking remember. Because uh, they're, fucking not in, they're not in Sticker Star, at least as far as I've played. Um, yeah, Galoombas are my favorite form of Goomba. They're just little fat, round boys. Love them. 
And yet, you rebuke my advances. Listen, you are not little, nor you round, you're more of a pear shape. I am extremely round. And just like a pear, you grate on my taste buds. I'd like a grate on your taste buds. <laughs> Why? Why must you bend my words to your whims? I'd like to bend you to my whims. Stop this. <laughs> How dare you. So, Professor Layton, which ones have you played? Uh, all of them up to 3DS, and then the one on the Switch. Oh, there's been one on the Switch? Yeah, you play as his daughter. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, they did. The Ace Attorney did the same thing, where by, like, game five, uh, Phoenix has retired, and now it's Apollo Justice. Or, it was Apollo Justice for a while, and now it's another character in the most recent one. Um, his daughter. It's his adopted daughter. In the uh, Ace Attorney, at least. In that, yeah, it's his daughter, and she's like a magician, right? No, she's a detective in the Switch game. Hmm. Okay. And she opens her own detective agency, and they're like, Oh, yeah, cool, the latent detective agency. And they'll say, I'm so-and-so latent, because I can't fucking remember her name. Mm -hmm. I can't remember Professor Layton's first name, either. Archibald. Maybe. I, I don't know, know. For a fact, it's not Archibald. It's like a candy bar. Candy bar? Hershey's. Werther's. R Herschel! That's Her it. Ah, yes. Herschel Layton. Oof. Herschel um, doesn't sound like a very British name to me. I don't know what's... I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. It sounds extremely British to me. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm his daughter. And they're like, so every time she says, I'm from the, you know, I'm Detective Layton from the Detective Layton Agency. And they're like, oh, well, your father will be showing up later. Very nice of him to give you a job. And she's like, it's my agency. They actually, um, they made a an anime based on that uh, permutation of the Layton games, which are fine. I mean, they're basically just like... Uh, I mean, it's similar to Sherlock Holmes. It's just, like, short little mystery stories. And they, they do it kind of like Scooby-Doo, where at the end, they're just like, this is all the evidence we gathered, and they give you a second to figure it out for yourself. Um, they also, they made a movie, Professor Layton and the Eternal Diva, which is, like, basically just the story from one of the games, but you just don't play the puzzles. So it's like, if they took the cutscenes from one of the games, and then... Like, just showed a scene of them solving a puzzle. So, it's not quite as fun, but, like, if you like the stories of those games at all, it's worth watching. Because it's the exact same animation and everything. I... Yeah. Like, they're not bad games. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel like they're ones that... Like, first of all... Math problems are not puzzles, and I refuse to accept them as puzzles. I mean... No, they're not puzzles. It's a math problem. Uh... I don't know... No, they're not puzzles. They're math problems. I don't know about that... I do. They're fucking math problems. It's homework. It's not a fucking puzzle. Like, I'm never gonna be sitting at the Sphinx in my life and they're like, what walks on three legs in the morning, and then, like, my next puzzle. What's two plus two? It's not a fucking puzzle. Well, yeah, they're not gonna do th that easy of a question, either. It's a- it's the extent of the Layton Games puzzles. Like, it's just a fucking math- like, you can dress it up as a word problem, but it's still a math problem. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter how much fucking story you add to a fucking math problem, it's still a math problem. If James has four oranges, and Timmy has five oranges, and they were to combine their oranges and eat one, how many oranges would they have? Well, I would it's not say, a fucking math problem. I would say the best puzzles are ones that function the same way that math problems do, where you have all of the variables that you need, and you're trying to find whatever variable is missing the solution. It's effectively like, algebra. doesn't make the math problem a fucking puzzle, though. 
It's just a fucking math problem. Mm. It's on my SAT. It's not a puzzle. Mm. If I can do it in fifth grade fucking math class, it's not a puzzle. Puzzles are fun. Math is boring. Whatever you say. Uh, Coco says it's not his daughter. It's another woman in Ace Attorney. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember if it was like an adoptive thing, or maybe it's adoptive in Professor Layton? I don't know. I didn't play that far into either series. What would you say is your favorite Professor Layton game? Whichever one you play first is going to be your favorite. Okay. Like, because they're all the same after that. Mm. They're all the same. Like, there's no fucking... I mean, it's a different story, but yeah, they all play basically the same. There's like, I think, tiny changes between one to the next, but it's so minuscule that the story is the only real change. So what one did you play first? The first one. Okay, I think I played the second one first, and I have not played the first one yet. Uh, gave up on the third one. There was the prequel one that I started, and I still have that one. I need to finish that one at some point. <coughs> I was enjoying it. Hey, Iggy, how do you... You've played enough Pokemon games to know the ice slidey puzzle, right? Yeah. How do you feel about those? Uh, they can be fun. When they're on, like, multiple, like, floors, they can be kind of annoying. At least so, like, in Pokemon. One per game is enough for you? Uh, yeah. I mean, eh, it depends, man, because, like, sometimes they can be done really well and be really fun regardless, and then sometimes they're just kind of lazy and it's just tedious. Yeah. Yeah, have fun with Paper Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured that's where that was heading. Oh boy. All right, all right. Oh wait, we're just back here. Okay. Thought this was a new area, but in fact, I just just opened up back into this business. You know what disappointed me? Hmm. I needed a gift today, a specific gift. Right. And it uh, doesn't exist. Really? What yeah. what one do you need? I need the critic flirting going. Hello. Oh, I think the critic was just niche enough that it wouldn't have, uh... No, the only gifts I could find of it were him going, It stinks! And, like, a lot of Simpsons gifts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, like, I, that's the thing, is the most crossover. people most people only know that character through the crossover. Because, unfortunately, yeah. it was not as big a show as they hoped it would be. Although, I'd well, honestly say that's one of the seasons. best episodes of The Simpsons. It had three fucking seasons. Oh, yeah. And it's, I mean, it is great. I'm not saying anything about its quality. It's just, it didn't get as big an audience as it should have. It's um, a damn good show. I'd say, like, like, probably make that GIF yourself. I'm sure you know exactly where in the series you can find him doing that. Oh, he says it all over the place. Exactly. Oh, I see what I need to do. I see what I have done wrong. I think, I think you can It even... is I who is the fool. I think you can even do that shit in iMovie. Maybe. I can't remember if you can export as a GIF in iMovie. And there's also, like, GIF makers on online. Um, there are. Where you um, just plug the footage in. Yeah, you just trim your bit out and then put it online and whatever. I'm just... <sighs> Be... Also, you find out much later in the game that when you throw confetti, if you, like, throw too much, it doesn't, like, depreciate your amount. Oh, okay. I'm like, well, that would have been nice to know a while ago. Yeah, that is very helpful. Andrew? Andrew, you gotta, you gotta do a service to your world, your country. You gotta be the change that you want to see in the world. You gotta make some critic gifs. You gotta make the, all the good shit. All the best ones you got to critic what? Some g critic gifs. I don't know what that. I don't know that word. That is how it is officially stated by the creators to be state to be pronounced. So. All right. Do you open Christmas gifs? It's. I'm just going with what the creator said, man. Do choosy moms choose gif? Well, how about we go with the one that nobody's gonna agree on, which is yif. Give it a real soft G. 
<laughs> Soft G was my. Let's just name. let's compromise and make sure everybody's sad. Hiff. Hiff. Well, this Hiff. that'd be if it was a J, right? No, that would be uh, in Spanish, sure. Oh god damn it! Did I lose Bob again? Where the fuck did I he go? Know. Yep. Yeah. That's a good fucking question, isn't it? God fucking damn it. So, wow. So the whole puzzle in this region is just getting your idiot companion to quit fucking walking off. You want to know what's... Do you want me to ruin what's really annoying about that? Hmm. What? What is it? Sorry, that, that was supposed to be in the affirmative. He, uh... He'll really piss you off here in a minute. All right, how far back temple, is he? Where'd he go? When Where'd you get he go? to the temple, he won't fucking stay with you. What the He'll fuck? fucking, like, leave. Oh, there he is. He'll I just didn't even notice him. I assumed that was a toad, because they're the ones who were always saying that shit. Fuck, how do I get... So, when you get to him... <laughs> he will, uh... He will get to the, the fucking temple door... And then he will say, oh, I'm just going to stay here. Fucking why? I thought you wanted to be on an adventure, Bob. He doesn't want to go in there. Iggy. Mm, wait, how the fuck do I... How the fuck do I get up there? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I can puzzle this out. I think... Honestly, the biggest difference in the latent games is what uh, side game they have, because they always have like the little side game alongside of it. And I think in the third one, it had the best one, where it was like a whole little Animal Crossing style town, where you could like interact with people. No fucking, oh my fucking Christ. Platforming <laughs> is going to be the goddamn death of me in this game. I, what the fuck, where the fuck? Do I keep going? What what am I missing here? Why can't I get up there? What do I do? Wait a minute. They're going back here. Is that a, is that is that a is that a hint? Huh? Huh? No, that is incorrect. What the fuck am I doing wrong? What do I do? I need to I need to figure out a better vocal posture or something for when I'm streaming cuz I keep like not exactly losing my voice, but I'm, I, I get pretty croaky by the end of these streams. Uh, I mean, I find that when my voice gets worn, um, autoflatios are really good. Uh, I'm sorry, like I have a genetically weak back. Can't can't bend like that. My spine, it don't work that way. Uh, I could, um. I guess volunteer mine for you. Then? Your spine? No. Because mm, it's not the bending that makes my throat better. Ah, uh, yes, I see. <laughs> I mean, I can recover, recover my voice just fine. After that, it's just um, like I, it, it's not good to do that. You can get, you can get a uh, nodules and shit because. Uh, you're just callousing your vocal cords. Um, I honestly found that, um, hard candy. Hard you candy? Kind of, uh, yeah, just suck on hard candy, and it okay. will, uh, coat your throat. Um, um, I'd be a little worried about that, because sugar tends to dry your throat out more than anything. Well, it's that it creates, like, uh, it's like the thing with honey. Hmm. So syrups work better, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, usually I'll just put, like, uh, some honey and some hot water. Uh, maybe tea, but tea is better as recovery because it can also dry you out a bit. Um, especially black tea. Black tea is great for inflammation. In the meantime, what I can use... Not sponsored or anything, but this throat spray... It is just a glycerin, it's like glycerin and aloe and a few other things. But glycerin is like the, uh, the, the throat spray is called Entertainer's Secret because it's an old opera trick to take glycerin 
uh, and just let that lube up your 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 throat. Um, we have vegetable glycerin that we bought just straight up. Mm. Is it food grade? Yeah. Oh yeah, a little, little spoonful of that would do you is just as well. This is just aerosolized, but pretty much the same thing. Okay, how am I supposed to... Uh, I like, don't... What the... How... You know what's annoying is when you walk into a cutscene, take five steps, here's another cutscene for you, like... Yeah, that shit's annoying. Fuck, <sighs> hold on. My, uh... It's doing the thing again where it keeps saying they lost signal. Yep. Which, in my experience, the Elgato just fucking wears out over a little bit of use. Which, yeah, Elgato fucking sucks, but it's still pretty much the best option we have as far as capture. I'm just shocked that, like, I think... we have HDMI output on these devices, but not input. Right? Yeah, I, I, it's ridiculous. Um, I think it's mainly, like, uh, probably lobbying for anti-piracy. Um, and then... Uh, the Aver Media capture card is supposed to be pretty decent as well. A lot of people use that. But more than anything, I think part of it is just that my computer is not able to keep up with the Elgato. So, once I get very computer, nah, that, maybe it'll work. That, that may be it, but I highly doubt it because I never had too many problems with my computer and Well, it's also, computer. you can see, like, my frame rate dips pretty hard on the capture, and, like, I don't see that with other people who are using the exact same device, but with a, a gaming computer, so I feel that it is probably just a rendering issue because I have onboard graphics. The, okay, how the fuck do I get bob on from this part? I've been uh, puzzling about how to do this, and I can't figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to get up Head there. left. Left. Downhill? Yeah, downhill. Okay. Go, uh, keep going. Wow, the delay is rather annoying. Keep going. I'm going. Yep. Go uh, down. Keep going downhill. Down, down, down. Yep. Okay. Like I'm watching you whack at the ground. Um, right, I am down. Where? What do I do now? Shit. You gotta get through that pipe. 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 What pipe? There's a pipe that is right next to the Goomba. Oh, okay. In that case, that means I need to fall down here. Ah, there it is. It was hidden by all the fucking trees. Okay. There we go. See, that's a puzzle that's frustrating because it's literally just you don't... You can't figure it out unless you find that specific piece of yep. it. There's no way to, like, logic your way around that. Oh, good. I'm finally at a point where the Goombas just fucking die. Get down here, yeah. Bob. There he goes. So, you think it's over now, right? I thought it was Clean over. I thought it was over after the fucking tall grass. God damn. Fuck, I keep hitting these fucking spike balls. All over. See, he rolled away again. Oh, god damn it. He rolled into the fucking spot where all the spike balls are going. Now yeah, do I no, go you through have there? To go. Keep going, he's not there. Keep going backwards. Oh, god damn it. All right, keep going. You more or less have to go all the way back to the beginning of this shit. Ah. <sighs> you you gotta go until she makes a comment. Yep, she did. Fuck, fuck. Oh god, I fell. I fell so far. Ugh. Well, she hasn't stopped me, so I have to assume I'm going the right direction still. That is one useful- again, it's like, it's- she's good for reference for like, am I going in the right area? Where was I supposed to go? Like, those moments, she's useful. Any other moment, oh, she's annoying as hell. Where is he now? Where- where could he be? The fuck? I mean, I guess it? there's nowhere else to go but back the other way, all the way to the end. I... but I... Uh... Oh, no, I mean, like, no. just leave him. Just fucking abandon him. Just commit to leaving his ass behind. Okay. Oh, shit. So I just have to go all the way back and then come around. Uh, fucking, hold on. I gotta, yep. And then I got, oh, oh, shit. Ah, uh, bad timing. Hold on. How much of Sherlock did you watch, by the way? I think I watched 
All how many seasons were there? Four, I think. Was the fourth one the one that started with the wedding and Yes. Or the one that started with him like coming back from the dead? No, that was three, I'm pretty sure. No, so that was I think four. The last season. Fuck. I don't remember. They only had four seasons, so twelve episodes and each episode's like feature length. Yeah. So I vaguely remember like Was the one where he came back from faking his death the same one where uh, Watson got married? Uh, that's not when he got married, but that's when Sherlock met his fiance. No, I mean like that season. That season, yes, that's the second to last season. And then no, there was I mean, one... is that the season in which Watson got married, or did that happen? He got this married season? in the last season. Alright, then I saw the last season. Okay. Ah, like, for fuck's sake, he's taking a ruddy nap. Uh, that's not the end of his bullshit. Yo, wee bastard. Not even fucking worth my time. You honestly start praying for his death. Kill the boy. Kill the boy. Shit. Uh, actually, well, I'll just... I'm actually finding that only about... Th they don't do much more after, like, 300 for this. Uh, the um, toads, that is. Get the Galoombas. Get them. Pop. 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 Pow. It, it got to a point for me where... I got sick of him. Oh, I, I mean, you sounded sick of him from, like, the moment you fucking met him. Yeah. He was not a fun one. <sighs> Don't you miss having a, a whole cavalcade of colorful, fun companions who were all... Sure, they were classic Mario Holy characters, but they were shit. differentiated. Look at the... This is... He's just a bomb. Oh, I don't feel like that's a good thing. I feel like I made a bad... I, I, I think I made a boo-boo. Mm -hmm. Hey, boo-boo boy! I think I fucked up, eh? Alright, you let the let the audience know about that. I'm gonna go on a uh, quick biology break. BRB. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. No. Ah, uh, one of my figures grabbed the fucking cable. Ah, shit. Shit. I'm clicking stuff. Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. BRB. Okay. Uh, I'm in a boss battle. While Iggy's gone, I can talk about it. Um, I'm fighting a giant roll of sentient masking, or, uh, scotch tape. <laughs> and, uh, considering how easy this is going right now, something tells me I made a, a, a major fuck-up. Oh, God, um... Okay. Is there anything on here that I can actually use to my advantage? Okay. Like, uh, it's going too easy. Something, like, there's going to be a twist here in a minute. You just fucking know it. Oh, God. Oh, Ducksworth. Quack, 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 Mr. Duckworth. Uh, uh, uh. I have to explain a joke to somebody. Nothing makes a joke better than having to explain it to the part. Ah, ha, 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 that is right. God damn it. 
I get the feeling that I know exactly where this is going. Oh, no. This is going too good, and that makes me think I know exactly where this is going. Oh, boo. It's not where I want it to go. It's a bad. Alright, fucking Bobbert Om. Um, let's go. Er, oh, wait, there's a toad there. Get him. Question. Since, go for it. Since you have a Switch, have you played Mario Odyssey yet? I beat Mario Odyssey. Okay. Uh, um. Good. Uh, what did you think of it? It was alright. Yeah. Um. Actually, a uh, secondary question that is related: Have you watched uh, Barry's? Uh, how about this game about Mario Galaxy? I haven't watched much of his content. Oh, fair. there's not very much. Like, you could catch up on it in, like, an hour. He basically... He made another How About This Game on his personal channel, and then he made, like, one basically just summarizing Kingdom Hearts. They're both yeah. really fun. Um, I would say, honestly, the fucking... The How About This Game about Super Mario Galaxy just feels like another sequelitis. It's fantastic. Um... But, yeah, basically, the points he makes in there of, like, what could have made Super Mario Galaxy even more solid is basically just make Mario Odyssey. Because, <laughs> like, it, mm. they d did basically all the same stuff. Have they... you... Hmm? Sorry, finish your thing. I It just made me think of things. Oh, no, I, I did. that was pretty much the end of it. Come the fuck on, you bastard man. Fuck you. Fucking fucking thing, douchebag. You fucking douchebag. Right, fuck you, I don't need you. I don't need you. I got in, that's all I needed. Uh, but what were you gonna say? I don't remember. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, Why the hell didn't I get to attack? What the fuck? I was on an attack panel. Mm, maybe you accidentally hit the cancel. No. No. Uh, shit sickle. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's where that's where they say. Similarly to the you can turn motion controls off, it's like why would you not say that shit at the beginning? Instead waiting until near the... Because playing with motion controls. <sighs> Iggy, everybody loves motion controls. I don't necessarily have a problem with it. It's literally just that I can't with this controller and I don't want to use the Joy-Cons because they have drift. I I don't believe that I finished this boss battle. I knew it! Ah, I they got gotcha. you. No, it was way too easy. I was going to say, wow, this was the easiest boss battle in the entire game. Oh, holy shit. No. Holy shit, it's the crabs from fucking Mario Brothers, not even Super Mario Brothers. The the old, old one. And Mario Land. Mario Land. Well, the crabs in that were a little different. Uh, but that's only because of graphical limitations. That's that's a fair point. I have I think Mario Land is probably the oh shit fuck I didn't realize those were uh spiky. I wish Mario Land were in Mario Maker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, why would you assume the things with the pointy pinchers would be pointy? Listen to me. Um, no. But they they do have the Mario Land's power up. You can you can ha use the Super Ball. Oh, they just don't shit. have the aesthetic. Ah, oh, shit, poopy. Um, so, uh, similar to, you can do the uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, mushroom, so you can be that version and you can, like, carry guys and stuff and pick them up, but, like, it doesn't... 
It doesn't do anything to the level itself, it just changes Mario. Well, see, I want Super Mario Land in there for A, the power-ups. Mm. Like the rubber ball. Yes, they have that. They have the, the rubber ball in there. If but you I also if just you really beat, like that Game Boy aesthetic. If you beat the story mode, you get the, the Super Ball. I also just like that aesthetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Hey, I'm attacking over here. Fuck you. Oh god, I I am not okay with what just happened. No. 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 Oh well, that's fine. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god. Oh, how is that gonna affect gameplay? Oh lord, is it doing some like bow your shit? Of, like, locking off. Kind of. Like, they yeah. start doing that a lot later in the game. Mm, yeah. Where I'm, are you now? Uh, I'm j in the shrine. I'm just, like, uh, doing, like... For the water elemental? Yes. I'm, I'm just... I, like, just started, so... I'm still, uh... Just, uh... Like, l exploring. Once you figure out how to beat the enemy, like, that part's not hard. Yeah. It's the, like... Um, oh, actually, that's kind of cool. Um, I kind of dig this. <laughs> okay, like, once you figure out, like, the, the path, or, like, the, the pattern necessary to beat a boss, right? it's fine. It's just, like, that first seven or eight minutes of playing the boss where you're just, like, struggling. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know... I don't know. That's where I was at with the Fuck. first boss fight. I really just didn't fucking get it. Um, but by the second boss fight, I understood a lot, a lot better. Uh, yeah, you you pick it up. Damn. Mm -hmm. This. I'm in a sticky situation. Uh, is it is it bees? Is it a B situation? Nah. The boss is a uh, tape dispenser. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've already spoiled what all of the different bosses are in some of the promotional material, so. Shit. So, I've never in my life watched some movies that people would consider like classics right oh this sucks this chuffs my nuts man mm. I have to just eat it I have to fucking just eat it this time oh, like no. that's the thing like it will fuck you over by like you it will just make you eat shit every now and then and you yeah. just have to like smile and be like, yes sir, I like it. Well yeah, that was the big thing I noticed with the um with the colored pencils is like you just fucking no matter what you did, you were still taking like thirty damage, even if you blocked everything perfectly. Oh no, I'm talking like the way the grid is laid out prevents you from making a fucking move sometimes. That shit, well, that was my problem with the first Velemental is, like, I fucking, I, no matter how I looked at it, I couldn't figure out a way to get where I needed to fucking go. Ah, here we go, sliding puzzles. Hell yeah. Love this shit. Oh, wait. Did I fuck this up? Now. Now. Now you will die! I believe I'm missing one. Um... Um... I oh, will say hardest... wait a minute. Okay, I see. I didn't actually look at the room yet, so I see what they, they're fucking asking for. Um... You fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Am I missing a part? Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah. You have to have all the parts. Okay, okay. I and figured... then, before you can um, actually use the parts, uh, you have to solve the puzzle, then put the part in. Right. Yeah, I have no problem solving the, the, the like this kind of sliding puzzle I fucking love. I actually have a, a physical Professor Layton like, sliding puzzle like this. 
that I'll fuck around with sometimes. Um, do I have it here? No, it's off in a drawer somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a very soothing thing to just slide stuff around, and you quickly yeah. build heuristics of just like how to cycle through different shapes and things. Uh, uh, like part of it will piss you off after a while, though. Like maybe. I mean, I genuinely like, enjoy those this puzzles. Game will do. Right. Huh? I genuinely enjoy that kind of puzzle, so I don't know. At least that part so sounds fun. I, I do too. But if you're going to include puzzles in a game, you have to include like an opt out at some point. Nah, not because, with a game like this. I mean, the puzzles are a no, big part of the gameplay. Yeah, mm, yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit, that guy's got it. Oh, the blue guy's got it. Right, get back here. Come back. Where's he at? Oh shit. Oh god, they're doing the Scooby Doo thing. Fuck. Oh, there he is. Yeah, fuck. Where's he at? Where's he at? Nah, shit. Let me out, let me out. Let me in, let me in. Yeah, back. Yeah, fuck. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, you fucking... What I'd what like to see later in the game is more than just two fucking attack shapes. Uh, no. God damn it. So far, it's all... That's disappointing, because like that would be, that would be such an obvious iteration, that just having squares and lines is like, it's okay for a minute, but I, f I feel like it's desperate for like well, that more so fucking satisfying. options. Oh god, there's like a point in every boss fight where you've got like a severe advantage for a moment, mm -hmm. and it just makes everything worth it. Like all the shit you had to deal with previously wow. is suddenly fucking like. Yes, Daddy. Yes. Mm. Give Baby what he wants. You know, like... Just like uh, Caillou. My mom cannot watch Caillou with a straight face. Because there's absolutely a fucking episode. Like, I think it happens fairly regularly, but like... There's an episode where Caillou's like, Yes, Daddy! And she's just like, fucking really? Yeah, there was a... The, that clip shows up in a lot of different, um like meme compilations now or it used to i think they someone on vine like clipped that out way back when wow god damn it seems kind of arbitrary how many fucking coins they give you, because sometimes they give you a shitload for doing what is a pretty easy fight and other times they give you like a hundred for what was a really fucking hard fight. What the fuck? How do I get this guy? He keeps fucking scootering back to the furthest one. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a block here. This is a hidden block here. Ah. Eh? Oh, this is Come the best I can do right now. Come on out. Come on out. Pow. Do I just hit it? No. I gotta wait for him to come out. Nothing I can do right now, but just Come on. suck this up. Come on. There he is. Fuck you. Okay, and that's a that's a reference to the original too. God damn it. Flipped over before I could run over to him. Oh well. It comes back. No, I'm it's fine. fine. Like he flipped over as I was trying to jump on him, so now I have to fight him. But that's fine. Yeah, no, it's yeah. I can it's an I mean, none of the fights are really that hard, aside from the like, bosses. Once you figure it out. This game, once you figure out what you're supposed to do. Oh, god damn it. The Toads fucking... made it fucking harder now. God damn it. This actually. Ugh. Fuck did you guys do? God damn it. Just gave you 300 fucking coins and you give me this. Sh give me this sh bullshit. Enough. Fuck am I supposed to do with this? Sh All right. You didn't pay him enough. I paid him plenty, dude. I paid him like 300. That's it usually gives me exactly what I need. 500. Hmm. I don't know, because I did 500 and I've done like 300, and they give me pretty much the same amount of help. Ooh, bow. 
Nice. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, they're doing the thing. Stacking. Jesus. I like to, uh, overpay them. I, like, I mean, I, I guess I'm not, like, in, hurting for money. Especially in boss battles, I love to give them that 999. Because then they'll give you a little thing that shows you the path you're taking. Okay, it like, does max out. Life. It does max out before it gets to, like, your max. Because I don't want to, like, give them all of my fucking money on accident. Come on now. Whoop, whoop. There it is. Alright, alright. Ah, fuck. Late. If you give them 999 during a boss battle... Mm -hmm. Fuck! I'm, I'm fu fucked this round. Oh, they do. Andrew, what do they do when you get the 999? Uh, during a boss battle, they give you a power-up that allows you to... Um, um, see dotted line path of where you're going to go. Oh, that's... Well, so far it hasn't been that hard to tell where I'm going to go. I mean, it's just... No, but sometimes you fuck up. You think you've got it lined up, or you move a piece after you've made a semi-perfect path, and you're like, shit! You know? mm, right. Fuck my ass! Like, it, it is straight up a fuck my ass kind of, like, situation. I mean, that hasn't happened yet, but I'll keep that in mind in case I start having that problem. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, what do I do here? Do I eat this round and set myself up for the next round? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I fucking have to. Do Boy, I eat I this round or do I go to the next? <laughs> Sounds like you uh, self-censored there. No, I'm... Round what? What round thing are you eating, Andrew? I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna go there today. Like, I'll just. I'm gonna behave. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I could have made it dirty, Joe. For once in your life, you're behaving. Yeah. Oh, well, it goes I, through, like, my full thing, even, like, the tiny mistakes before I fucking lined it up correctly. That's kind of fun. What? There's another one of these, just so you know. Yeah. I, f I mean, I and figured. They went. It's wouldn't... bigger. They wouldn't go through all this nonsense to uh, just leave this concept on the floor. It's a much bigger, longer one. Fuck yeah, bring it on. And they are very not cruel about that one by just letting you fucking... It, it skips your fuck-ups. Okay. Okay. Uh, you... Perfect! Fuck it, I don't care about anything else, just let me get this... Oh, the snake. I feel like that. The snake. He opened his mouth. Have a little snake. The snake has snake. May I give a little snack for the snack when you go to the snack. Yes. Oh god damn it! This is just the... gonna keep moving now. That's that's. So annoying. would you consider colored pencils, tape? Mm -hmm. A hole punch, things like that to be, um, origami tools? No. I'm pretty sure they're specifically referred to as stationary. No. They, uh, at one point, Olivia says, what would make origami tools like this, uh, you know, behave in such a way? I mean, they're origami tools right now because they're following the origami king. Mm. 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 The way she says it is, they are tools of origami making. Yes, but they, well, okay, yeah, they certainly yeah. are not. Maybe the colored pencils, that you can add a little flair to the thing that you do, but uh, yeah, like, to be classified as origami, there can be, it is just paper folding. You, It is yeah. a single piece of paper folded. There should not be any tearing or cutting or taping. Right? Like, that's my opinion, too. Like, maybe my understanding of origami is more limited, or maybe it's a thing where as more tools became available, like... Do you, uh, have you ever done origami? I used to be amazing at origami. Okay. 
I used to be incredible at origami. Like, from 4th through 6th grade, I mm. could fold anything if you gave me the instructions. Yeah. Like, if I looked at... If I looked it up in a book, I could easily fold it. And th then I stopped doing it around, like, 7th grade, and I just ne cannot do it now. Like, I'd have to start over from scratch. Oh, I can do some of the... Brain. I can do some of the basic ones still. I have pretty much the same thing. Like, elementary school, I did origami, um... So I would I would just use like post-it notes because they were way cheaper than origami paper and they were nearly square. They were not square though, so there was always like a little sticky bit on the end that was uh uneven. Um, it was also well, there was a trick for that where you folded the pe uh, rectangle sheet of paper just right. Well, the thing is, it. that's true. You could do that, but it was just so slightly off that like. It just looked like you uh, folded it wrong. It didn't look like there was, like, uh, an excess. So, the trick I learned incl involved, um... Like, I could cut that paper perfectly without a single, um... pair of scissors or a blade of any kind. Right. Uh, I think I know what you're going to say, because I did a... Uh, I pretty sure I did a similar thing, but... What was your thing? Uh, just fold it, fold it back and forth with a deep crease until it was weak enough to just tear cleanly. No. No? You folded it and then licked your finger and gently, like, rubbed the seam? Mm. I did that a little bit, but I was young, so young that I could, I always overdid it and ended up with just kind of like a soggy edge. Mmm, I got to a point where I, mine was fucking perfect. And so I had, like, these great, uh, I like how Olivia still won't shut the fuck up, like, yeah. you could hand her a sentence, and say, like, or a stack of words, like, make a sentence out of these words, up the fuck shut, and she would be like, I don't understand the puzzle! Like, fucking shut up! Yup. The other thing I remember being into is my school library when I was in elementary school had a, um... Had a... A book on Cat's Cradle. So, like, not necessarily like the two-person game version, but like just having a loop of string wrapped around your hand and like pulling it in different shapes to make yeah. stuff, and like, I, w I got really good at those, I memorized a ton of them. They, those I ones are like a contend, ton of fun. I contend that the kids who played with Cat's Cradles in elementary school, uh, grew up to be into Shibari. Into what? Shibari. What is that? The fetish where you tie people up in fancy patterns. Oh, I mean... I, I already am disproving that because I... broke I, play, you fucking American. Yeah, I'm already going to disprove that theory for you because I was really into Cat's Cradle and I'm not... I, I mean, I have nothing against Shibari, but it doesn't... It don't do anything for me, personally. Being tied up or tying people up? Anyway, I don't really... I don't really care either way. If somebody... If somebody wants that, it's like, alright, I'll figure out some knots, but, uh... You know, I'm... Fine, I'll go with gotta the do some Twitter research. standby. If you were into this, then you're queer now. Fine. That better? That is accurate. Except. I will I will accept that. I feel like a little too often, um, though the kink and being queer are conflated a little too much. Yes, but you can see why I would connect Cat's Cradle with Shibari. Oh, sir. Uh, no, I get the I get the joke. Your theory is wrong, though. Your your humor has has has, has, has a has a oh fault god. in it. Oh god! Illogical. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lie to you about what this video clip I'm about to post to Twitter is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll post it to Twitter and then send you a link. Uh, sure. shortly after. Mario and the story I'm going to tell you is Mario and Olivia just died. Just what? <laughs> died. Oh no. 
Um, I mean, it looks. That's what it fucking looks like. Nothing. Uh. That's like. Um. Shit, actually, that, that joke is a spoiler. It's an in joke for a game I'm pretty sure you haven't played. But, like, it relates to this. Ah, damn it. Ah, f fuck. I'm trying to think if I can say it in a non spoilery. If I can say it in a non spoilery way while still explaining to you enough info about the game to make the joke make sense. Um. Mm. Nope, nope, can't do it. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm a failure. What's the game? Uh, Persona 4. Fucking go for it, no one cares. Oh, All people, the weaves, people the definitely that care. care. Already know, so. That's a fair point. Uh, basically, in the game, you're a kid who's, like, being sent off to live with his uncle in, uh, a rural area and he's like always super busy because he's a cop and there's like fucking murders going around um so you're always watching his his six-year-old daughter Nanako and at one point uh <laughs> Nanako almost fucking dies and I think if you go a certain route she can die but the joke is always I can't believe Nanako's fucking dead oh. Um, so I'm about to send you a tweet. <laughs> the joke of the lie is Mario and Olivia are dead. Mm. Oh. Shit, shit. Hold on. Click, oh. click. Phone, phone, help. Show me the the, the goofs. Oh, no. oh, fuck. Oh my god. I'm getting very curious where this game goes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, continuing on. I th think I am definitely on pace to do the Vellum until fight um, by 11 here. And then I'll probably call, call it a night after that. Line them up. Burp, burp. Crabs. <laughs> I swear, there has That's to be... That's what the doctor said. Doctor, give me the diagnosis. I don't know. Crabs. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Crabs. Oh, man. Like... Olivia, would you shut the fuck up? Bruh, I don't know why you think she would start now. After... After a whole friggin' game of it. I would be so happy if the fucking goddamn. If, like, there's one enemy in the game that's a hole punch. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna spoil what the hole punch does, but, like, just fucking punch her mouth out. Like, just cut it out so she can't. Oh my god. I was. I just spoiled the fucking game for both of us. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god! Like, I was kidding! I'm fine with this. So, genuinely, I really hope they patch this with the turn Olivia off button. Well, no, because she's just so much a part of the game, they can't. Like, there's. She is too. Much bad design. Involved. Bad design. I'm I'm saying it right now. I don't care who the fuck you're catering to. They don't need that much goddamn hand holding. So did you see the thing I sent you on Twitter? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say now. If they expect people to be able to do these lineup puzzles in the battles, and still think they need that much hand holding, it's like you're not you're trying to please too many people, guys. It's not gonna work. Oh, it's not hand holding. It's just she just talks. Incessantly. I just, I don't know why they think, but like, 
they design battles that are too complex for children that would be young enough to need that heavy of hand holding, so I don't know why the fuck they think that's necessary. Give me just a moment, real quick. Um, yeah. I'm gonna mute myself, but I am not away, so I can still hear you if you're talking shit. Okay. I'm just gonna be continuing through these puzzles, anyways. Bop. Uh, da da da. Let's see, how do I do? Da 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 da. Yeah, this puzzle's easy. Er, oh shit, is it? Is this an easy puzzle? Eh, fuck it, I'll do the toads. Toads are not too expensive. And honestly, I'm still, even using the toads every time, I'm still making something of a profit. So why not? Uh, ham more. Nah, I'll do the boots first. These guys, Angie, don't want to mess with that. Oh, yeah, I'll just kill them off. Finish it up. Bow, 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 kraka, chippa de cha. God damn it, I wish they would quit doing that. Like, having to line them back up again. It's not the worst, but it's just annoying enough. I'm wasting my goddamn time. Listen, listen, games, there are resources in games, but there's one resource that a lot of games use, really every game uses, and it's an actual physical real world one. That's your fucking time. That's the only one that is actively the most valuable because you can't get your fucking time back. If you waste your time on a game, that ge time is just fucking gone. So I'm a little frustrated with games that feel like my time is invaluable. Because it's the most valuable fucking resource. I don't give a shit about coins. Fucking zenny. Fucking money. From Kingdom Hearts. It's my but it's spelled different. I don't know. Oh, we're getting there though. Puzzles. Puzzles. Alright. I'm just gonna avoid the crabs. They're annoying enough. And as people have pointed out, yeah, there's XP, so you don't have to really worry about fighting to get anything. Coins, Favorite I guess. slang term for genitals. Hmm. What's your favorite slang term for genitals? Oh, okay. The front part of that statement uh, wasn't cut off. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I'd say dick and pussy are the ones that I usually default to, but I don't know if they're necessarily my favorite. Um, I like, um, first of all, I just like words that sound dirty, but aren't. Mm-hmm. Why did you jump out there? I ju uh, what? I jumped out where You're there You're supposed was... to go out, like, all the way behind the dragon's head. What? God yeah, damn it. Yeah, you go behind the dragon's head when you go up that way. Well, then they did a shitty job of fucking setting that up, because I went to get a toad, and I didn't go all the fucking way back. So that's just... That is poor conveyance. Fucking... Nope, nope, I didn't mean a hint. Fuck off. Did you know that if you order from uh, Postmates, you can get a box of coffee, like a box of wine from McDonald's? Uh, yeah, Starbucks has those, too. Uh, they're... Fuck, I don't remember what they're called. Um, that sounds like a little much, especially considering <laughs> McDonald's coffee is not really that great. Although they're trying to basically be Starbucks at this point. Like, they have the fucking lattes and everything. The cafe, yeah. Yeah, they suck. I'll, I'm gonna say right now, those fucking blow. Um, gonna go on mute again real quick. Okay. Oh, oh, is he gonna cry? <laughs> nice. 
Want a shake, pie, cookies? Hmm? He didn't um, realize that he didn't mute himself. I will mute him for this stream. Alright, so going through the door now, right? That opened up. Let's see. Let's see what. Ah, yes. Yes. Three by three. Now, this is a puzzle. This is a goddamn puzzle. Uh, where's the way to go? Ah, oh, shit. I might have to raise my brightness. This is a little bit of a dark area. Oh, there's a, there's a gap. Here we go. Where do I? Oh, there's a hole. Gotta fix up the hole. Oh, 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 shit, I'm over here. What the fuck? Okay. That works for me. Let's see. I guess drop down then? Oh, oh, this guy. Does this guy have my, my shit? Does he have the puzzle panel? Oh, whoa, what the fuck is that? Is that the, what is that? Oh, okay, it's a one of, right. Uh, whoop. just gotta do this. And then we'll smack them all up. Hmm. So can I use that in this fight? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Magic circle on. She roars. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Um, did that help? Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, hold on. I muted you on stream because you forgot to mute yourself in Discord. <laughs> oh, oh um, well. speaking, my girlfriend and I were ordering lunch or dinner. Yeah, speaking of McDonald's, I wish I could eat more stuff from there, but it's like, at this point in my life, um, like, I don't really do fried potato anymore, and their fries always, they fucking turn into, like, bricks once they've gone cold anyways. Their beef is fucking awful, so it's not worth anything anything and then um, um the fucking so for me i just like the nuggets yeah pretty much the chicken the chicken stuff is the only stuff that's really worthwhile i'm mad they got rid of my favorite dish at mm. mcdonald's which was? It was a chicken it was a breakfast chicken biscuit how oh, did they get rid of that well they didn't get rid of the mick chicken biscuit but they mm. had one called the southern style chicken biscuit where right. they actually put some fucking effort in. You know what? Where it was like an. It, generally, when it gets, comes to fast food breakfast, I go with uh, Taco Bell, if just because like it, I, I don't know, it just it's a little tastier. But like they used to fucking have this one that was like a biscuit and gravy breakfast crunch wrap that had like a sausage gravy in it. Mm -hmm. And they also had one that was a fucking California crunch wrap with like guac and pico in it. Both of those were so much fucking better than the standard breakfast crunch wrap they got now, which is just I... basically a breakfast sandwich but a tortilla instead. So here's my hierarchy of breakfasts mm -hmm. for fast food. Bojangles. Best. Yeah. Still haven't By tried it. There's, there's none nearby, so... Oh, that sucks. Is that a national chain? Like, would I find that in Washington, or is that? A no, that's definitely stuff? that's definitely uh, this area. Um, so Bojangles has the best breakfast bar nut. I don't like eggs. Right. But I love the way my grandmother made eggs growing up. Their eggs are like hers. Mm. So Bojangles for uh, breakfast, best. Here. Sure. Even if I go there outside of break uh, time, that's what I get. Okay, like, they I do, do let you. With... 
Yeah, you can order breakfast. Because honestly, hours. like the breakfast food at any fast food place is going to be the best items on the menu. Yeah, they <laughs> had a whole ad campaign about that saying, if our breakfast tasted like theirs, we wouldn't ser we'd stop serving it at 10.32. Oh, shit. I mean, they do do yeah. it all day now, but it's like, it's hardly worth yeah, they, it. Uh, it, it is. Um, so that, or if you're getting it outside of like breakfast hours and you want something not breakfasty, just go for their, um, goddamn, what's it called? Uh, dirty rice. Okay, what like, kind of a, like, like, what kind of a restaurant are they specifically? Because... Fried chicken. Okay, is it just a chicken place? Yeah, it's, so they're the opposite of KFC for me. Hmm. I love KFC's chicken, I hate their fucking sides. Oh yeah, all their sides. Like, the, the Mac is like, eh, it's kind of acceptable. The potatoes like, are awful. The gravy, it's that point where the gravy we were arguing is about kind of acceptable. Yeah. Like, they're that point where they passed al dente. <laughs> like, oh their, yeah, their mac and cheese is just god awful. Yeah, we um, got KFC like a couple weeks ago, and we've just had an untouched tub of their fucking mac in our fridge for a while. And it's too expensive for what the fucking quality of their sides is. I know. We only pretty much what get I it. get now. Um, just get their crunk or crispy kernel. And that's it. Like it's a fucking chicken sandwich. So it's better I will than say. I will say. Actually, uh, their um, fuck. What is it? Uh, their wings. Their wings are actually pretty all right. I will say this. Their uh, chicken sandwich mm -hmm. is better. Not just because of no homophobia, but just tastes better than fucking pop uh, Chick Fil A. Sure. Because it tastes like a Chick Fil A sandwich without like. I've only I mean, had I'd play say, a times I'd say the, life, the Popeye sandwich is bad. I prefer the Popeye sandwich. A uh, part of it's because, like, I prefer the Popeye's like chicken in general. Like the seasoning, I think, is some of the best. They're second place. Um, but also because fucking uh, the um, the the pickle they put on there is like you can actually tell it was a fucking like vegetable at one point. It's not just like brined mm. to death. So for me, I like first KFCs mm -hmm. because it's actually good. Uh, then Popeyes, then just anyone else. Like fucking yeah, gas stations the gonna be better than Chick Fil A, honestly. Yeah, because Chick Fil A, I only had it like three times in my life. It's sweet, and it shouldn't be sweet. Oh yeah, that's the thing is when I make the uh, the because Clark, I mean he's a kid, so he still likes Chick Fil A, and part of it is because it's fucking sweet, like kids just love sugar but like when i do my uh when i look up a recipe for imitation chick-fil-a so that we can sate that craving for him uh it, it involves a lot of powdered sugar in the breading i'm not shocked yeah it's disgusting like it's fucking disgusting well that's the thing too and is I'm that like... it's like you're supposed to br uh like brine it in a pickle brine but like the pickle brine uh, uh, uh most pickle brines are packed with fucking sugar I, I feel like a lot of people don't get this because it's it's a vinegar base, so they mostly taste sour. But it's like there's a lot of well, sugar and a ton of salt too. Yeah, so I don't use sugar, right, oh, at all when I make pickles. Water bottle. Ah. My pickles are very not sweet, and I fucking hate like a bread and butter pickle is the greatest way to fucking ruin your goddamn dish. Oh yeah, I don't, I do not like those. Like I get that they're popular, but I don't, they're just too fucking, like, sweet. It's like saccharin. So, when I was a kid on a fucking road trip, here's a thing that started when I was, like, 10. And I have hated this ever since. If you have a dish on a menu, like a paper menu that I am holding in my hand and looking at, mm -hmm. if it just says, like, grilled cheese, it better just be bread, cheese, butter. Pretty much. Preferably mayo, but not, you know, in absence of mayo, butter. Maybe, maybe a, a tiny bit of mustard, but it's it should be just the tiniest, it, the tiniest, like the tiniest like insinuation that there may have once been mustard involved. And it should say that. Exactly. On the fucking menu. So we were at fuck. My grandparents took me on a road trip on ten. We mm -hmm. get a fucking grilled cheese at Cracker Barrel. 
Oh boy. They put, they put mayonnaise on it. Okay. On the inside of the sandwich. Oh no, then that's just hot mayonnaise. With Ugh. bread and butter pickles. Ugh. The menu simply said, grilled cheese. That's, that's vile. It was. That's a goddamn was... crime. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, right. The thing with the, these sliding puzzles... Fucking... Awful. The thing with these sliding puzzles is there's always a brief moment of like, okay, when I push it, am I controlling the tile or am I d deciding which tile is going to go into the empty spot? Uh, with this one, you're deciding. Like, oh yeah, no, I fi I figured it out. That's what I'm saying is there's always that moment of confusion when you first yeah. start it of like, whoa, 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 which way do I go? So I took uh, one fucking bite of that sandwich, looked up at my grandparents, and said. I'm not hungry anymore. Oof. And my grandmother's like, what's wrong? I told her, she's like, it was the first and only time I, I felt that it was justified to yell at people in a fucking restaurant. Because that should have been on the goddamn menu. Oh, that most certainly should have been on the fucking menu. You can't. And they were offering, like, would you like us to make you one without it? I was like, I don't want y'all touching my food ever again. Like, I don't trust you. And that to this day, I will not go to Cracker Barrel. Yeah. That's Period. like, that's like. I, I will chip. You I'll may as well. I I I would have preferred you fucking accidentally get some bleach in my food over that fucking nasty yeah. shit. Um, I'll hit up that neat little like country store in the front because there's some shit you can't find anywhere else. Oh yeah, all those craft sodas and stuff. Yeah, but I will not. I will not ever ever buy your fucking food again. Um. Fuck. Then is... there was one where I, like, no. any Indian food or Mexican food, I love both. They're fucking amazing. Oh, sure. I wish they would fucking tell you, when you order them, that their food is packed with cilantro. Yeah. Because I can't eat cilantro. Period. And it's always the ingredient they never fucking list on anything. Well, yeah, they. I'll I, give you a hint. Because it's a, a spice. They're the not gonna. Right which which one? The one in the top right corner that you're not moving. You have to. But you just have to sacrifice your little bit of security there to what solve you... this puzzle. Shit! I hope that's the correct one. Um. Actually, you know what I've discovered is a good thing to do. Get your pieces, uh, approximately like get two or three where you want them. Mm-hmm. And then just start moving them. Uh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, well, that's so, the thing is, I'm I'm still trying to figure out what fucking like path I'm trying to put together here. I'm not sure where uh, I the want three the pieces straight to be. ones. The three straight ones go top, middle, bottom of that center column. Oh, okay. That that actually makes it uh, a lot more sense. Okay. And then that uh, two piece one, I think, goes to the outside. Like, to the center left. Right. So, that's uh, your solution there. Okay, I gotcha. That, With those yeah. three in place, you That's the thing, is I'm used to doing these when they're a picture. So then, you, like, it's more obvious what you're supposed to be doing. But, um... So, cilantro, because I can't eat it, like, it... I have that mutation... Nothing will piss me off more and ruin a dinner more than a dish not telling you there's cilantro in it. Right. And you fucking getting a just mouthful of it. Oh god, yeah, that sounds fucking awful. I mean, even I, as someone who can eat cilantro, find that pretty nasty. Oh shit, fuck, I did it. Okay. I, w I was like, expecting to, to me, do a little more work there. To me, it tastes... Like, I don't know how many of y'all are like me, but... If you, it is a mutation. Like, it is technically, uh, by Marvel standards, a superpower. Yeah, they, um, uh, I believe in the culinary world they're referred to as super tasters. I don't know about that, but if I eat cilantro, I mean, I've even heard the term. Little bit, I've heard the term used that way, so I mean, I'd, I'd say embrace it. Uh, even a little bit of cilantro in a dish, just the tiniest fucking bit makes the entire dish taste like a uh, fucking dish soap to me like the smallest amount now so here's the here's here's my thought 
and, and this is a, a simple thing, but um, similar to like, how do we, how do I know that the green I see is the same color you're seeing since they're, we're taught them all relatively. Uh, similarly, like, how do we know that for s people with that mutation, it's not that the cilantro tastes different, it's that the dish soap tastes like cilantro. Because, uh, uh, the way I've had cilantro described to me by normal people does not match up with, uh, the pleasant taste that, or the unpleasant taste that I taste. I mean, I don't really I'm consider cilantro that, pleasant, so even, uh, even if it doesn't taste flavor. like soap. Describe the flavor of cilantro. Uh, it's very, you... I'd say it's a very sharp taste, um... Almost acrid, honestly. Like it's it's almost like uh, the like w uh, the worst notes in like a, a smoky flavor, you know. Okay, so you just used a word that everybody uses. They always describe it as smoky. I wouldn't say everyone. I would say smoky, but not in a good way. It tastes. Right. It's everyone. like if you took the burnt notes from a smoky thing. Right. No one like describes it as anything other than smoky. There is nothing about the flavor of cilantro to me that I would describe as smoky. Hmm. At all. There's, it tastes like... Well, what I mean uh, is I it's like, it's like the incredibly, like, bitter, chemically, no, like, no, kind of acrid. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's nothing like that. It's not even close. It's awful. It is, without a doubt, the worst fucking flavor. It is... Have you ever been, like, taking a shower and you got soap in your mouth? Yeah, I know what soap or... tastes like. Yeah, it tastes exactly like soap. Like, Right, but how do we? Like a... How do I know that the soap you taste is the same soap I taste? That's really my question with it, is, because... like, how much is relative? Because in this case, we're going to throw philosophy out the door and just accept that it tastes like a punishment. Hence the phrase, I will wash your mouth out with soap, and not, I will wash your mouth out with cilantro. Hmm. It, it tastes like you're being punished. It tastes just like right. soap. It is not a positive experience. It is, without a doubt, the worst goddamn flavor you will ever taste in your life. Right. Um, uh, it, it, it's still... almost, you know what, uh, it's kind of like... Um, the result is similar to, um, if I were you, oh, yep, yeah, never mind, you got it. Yep, yep. <laughs> I was going to say, I would move that on into your Yeah, path. I was double checking just before then. Uh, now, I will tell you this, you don't want that yet. You Whoop. want to jump on him. Oh, until shit. he's, well. he'll be bloated and have, uh, water, like, floating around his body in, like, little rivers, mm, that's right. when you use your elemental power. Sure. Um, but, uh, so, it's an aromatic, but in a burning kind of way that feels like you can't get it out of your nose, as opposed to, like, horseradish mm. or onion. Um, it tastes like it tastes wrong, like, no, this is bad, don't put it in your body. Right. Uh, in the same way that, like, if you taste soap, you're like, nope. And the way soap kind of, even if you get a little bit in your mouth, it gets into your sinuses and such, and kind of burns the flesh versus the air in your nose, like a, a normal aromatic does. Right. It, it's like that, like when you get chlorine in your nose when you're swimming. Mm, yep, yep. It's that same feeling in your nose, but with, like, if you could taste that as well. Ooh. Yeah, that's what fucking cilantro is to me. Uh, shit, that, yeah. So just imagine, like, tasting that Fuck in no, your nose. I want to do that. Um, hmm. It sure looks hot. Do you think this is one of the hot springs? It doesn't look very spring. God, would you shut up, Olivia? Yeah. I'm in a hot spring, and she's like, it sure looks hot, but it doesn't look very springy. 
is hilarious. Oh, oh, he's on the ground. God damn, he does a lot of damage with those bites. Holy shit, he's so waterlogged. Alright, how do I fucking do it then? Use the arrows. Come on it. Give me shit. Get one, one second. Here we go. And oh, that's nice. Oh, that. Here we go, like. <laughs> that. Would you shut the hell up, Olivia? I fucking. Olivia is the worst part of this game by a landslide. Like. Jesus, titty farting Christ. Mm hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, god damn it, the water spouts washed away the fucking thing I was gonna use. Oh, fuck. Yeah. But now you know. And knowing it's half the battle. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. It's doing the thing. I guess I'm my husband's pain, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Drown her. Round her. Mario, just reach over, put your hand on her head, and hold her under the water until the bubbles stop. Yep. Uh. I would love to go to like a spa with like a hot sauna and a spring and all that. Right. Like, I would love to just get in like a hot tub. Oh yeah, I've been doing um since I've been getting like more aches and pains from exercising and stuff, uh, I've been taken to just taking baths. It's not great, because I'm large enough that, like, I can't be fully yeah. under the water no matter what, but, like, you roll around, you can get a decent soak. Yeah. I gave myself a hickey in the bath. What? With my... How did you manage I, this? In, uh, in the small of my back, I gave myself a hickey in the bathtub. How? I was laying flat on my back. And what then the I fuck? My... What the fuck? I went to the Earth Elemental and it didn't do it. Did you have it turned on? I thought I did. Fuck. Oh, you died. Well, yeah. No, it's a, a one hit with the wave. Not. not it if took. You have full it health. took exactly. It took exactly my remaining health. It hit me for exactly my remaining health. So it's a one shot. God, would you shut the hell up, Olivia? She won't. You can keep t telling her this. She ain't gonna listen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Hell to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And the water fell is probably gonna shoot some water, right? We'll need higher ground. So, yeah, I haven't eaten today. And I just got to a point where I was like, my dear, we need to order food. Good lord, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, I've been up since 3. I've been staying up playing this game so... I'm on the last ribbon now. Goddamn. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll have it finished by tonight. Fuck. Nice. I mean, yeah, at that yeah. pace, honestly, you're pretty close to the end. I, um... Let, uh, keep track of what your final completion time is. I'm curious how long uh, you're expected to, to finish it in. Um, so, how long did it take? How long have you been playing now? Three or, or nine hours? Uh, no, like seven? Wait. Like eight. The, the, at, at the end of this stream, it'll be about eight. I thought you were doing three. This is your third stream. Well, no. The first stream when I did Paper Mario... Uh, when I did Origami King, I only did it for like an hour at the okay, end of yeah, the other so... stream, and then the last stream I did it for about four hours. Yeah, so that'll be eight. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you're, you're doing it faster than I am, but you also have me and you had, you know, watching Coco to help you, so... That's um, true. That's true. I'm like I I don't have a walkthrough. I have nothing on my side right now. So all of this is on me. I mean, it's not exceptionally difficult at this point, honestly anyways. Like it might have taken One me must another make a reservation to drop a castle on our banquet hall. Do you have any idea how far out we're booked? 
It only, uh, it only took me like an extra, it would have only taken me like an extra couple minutes to solve most of these same puzzles. Um, some of it's not puzzle solving that'll just take you forever. Like, bob -omb. Fuck, mm. you're just getting lost forever. Yeah, that shit's fucking annoying. Just keep in mind, you are not even close to finishing the ribbon here. You like, say not... that, but like going off of our marathon, you you had a lot of really skewed uh, timetables on that. Like I remember there was a point at the end of like dry, dry ruins where you were like, "You're basically finished with the game." And I'm like, I don't think I don't think that's accurate. Uh, I'll put it this way: I started playing at noon yesterday, mm -hmm. and when we started streaming at eight. I was just barely finishing, like, I was still in this, uh, level when we finished. Mm. Like, that boss that I was screaming and cussing about right. was the final boss of this level. Oof. Alright. Now, again, you had help getting you to this point, but... Uh, the next part is the part that I'm not helping you with because I just want to watch you struggle. Alright, well that's going to be on the next stream. But I think that's yeah. a good place to start the next stream for sure. Yeah. Like, it's it's going to be funny. Like, this Ugly. is where you, you take the boat... I would finish this and do the boat ride. Hmm. Because there's still... Like, you don't even get... Like, once you have water, you still can't just fill the lake and leave. There's still more uh, that you have to do before you can ride the fucking boat. Right. It's that. It's that. That's what you have to deal with here. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of shit that gets under my goddamn skin. Right. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, no. Fuck, how am I gonna do the... Uh, that... Where the fuck's the on switch? Fuck. Nope, nope. I fucked this up. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. God. Okay, I need the on switch. Uh... I need the on switch. And... I need this. And then... I need these to be opposite each other. Fuck! Nope. Nope, that's not gonna... That's not gonna do it. Fuck! No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you had it. That. That, yeah. that would... Would that have been it? Where, where you have the plus two, and then the arrow, and then the on switch. Um, that, will, that will drop you right on the turtle. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, uh, by time. By, by like, a lot of time. Press start. Yep, I got it. It's plus. It's not start anymore. On my, on my controller, it says fucking start. What? Well, oh, yeah, fucking. I'm with the PS4 controller. Uh, no, actually, it says options, so you're still wrong. Actually, you're wrong. It doesn't say shit because I have a custom shell on mine. What ah. the fuck? Brah. You didn't know that? No. I have a gorgeous, like, uh, purple and blue iridescent shell on mine. That Maddie bought me for hmm. Valentine's Day. No, I fucking tripped immediately. Fuck. See, I thought I fucking had it wrong. The plus. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it fucking you trip if you don't have the fucking forward. That's right. Oh, damn My it. bad. God Bobby, damn it. Uh... <laughs> God. Oh, your health is a lot lower than mine was at this point. I well, think. yeah, I haven't gone and, like, farmed toads or anything. I've just been going straight through. Now, did you buy the uh, thing that buffs your health? I bought all of the accessories I could find. Did you equip them all? Yes. I. It was only the confetti vacuum and the time-up thing. This way, Mario. No time for side quests. Fuck you. That's not. That feels like a Big Bang Theory joke. I am... Here we are, Mario. Go right in. 
I am. You like that? It's a perfectly standard mouth door. I am disgusted. I I I suggest you work your way through this, and then um get your way through the boat ride. Mm. You'll be glad you did. But it'll be better for you if you do. I mean, how long is that? Because I do not... I'm already going it's over... It's not long. I'm already going over three hours with this fight because I've lost twice. It's not that bad. Um, it, it's... You just have to do, like, one of those filler quests. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just kind of... Like, you have to find an oarsman. And so that's the monkey. So you gotta get a can of tuna, and then you gotta get the can open, which means you gotta find three guys in that tall grass and take them to the mariachi player. There's like then a one bit, of them there's opens. like so many cans of tuna though. Well, the monkey runs away, so you gotta lure the monkey close to you, or it'll keep running away. So you gotta open the can of tuna and take it to the monkey and feed the monkey the tuna, and then whack him with a hammer, and it's oh, it's a toad. Who could have foreseen? Whoa. What a j j jape and jokester. It's just like that kind of an infuriating thing. But that confirms that there really is a lightning beast guarding the door. I'm I mean, that's a lot less. Fun. That's a lot less annoying than your companion just fucking walking away. Um. Yeah. It's just like. And then, but they they do reward you for it with a nice little uh, musical number. Sure. I mean, that's not gonna be much for me because I can't hear the audio. I cannot Wait, did hear Bowser you. Did Bowser leave us at some point? Uh. Because it, I thought he Bowser went off still... and I thought he went off and did his own thing from the beginning. No, because like you rescue him from the cliff, and he's with you when you confront Ollie, and then. Does he leave at that point? Yeah, I don't. I mean, he doesn't go with you. I'm pretty sure. Where where has he been the whole time if he hasn't? Right. Holy shit! Hmm. You'll see. Yeah. Of Sorry. Course. I don't want to. Oh my god. That was fucked up. Oh. All right, let's see if I can fucking do to fucking figure it out this time. I'm surprised you're having this much trouble. I just every time I've been fucked over. I mean, like it's genuinely about the layout that you get and whether or not you're able to fucking figure it out, and I just haven't. I think part of the thing is. You gotta remember that I'm better than you, and you know it. Mm-hmm. So... Yes, Olivia, I know about the fucking dots. I don't care. Here we go. That... I think... By Jove, you're right! I didn't know... Oh, I don't want to spoil that. Uh -huh, anyway. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, uh, -huh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. this is not. My food is here. Fucking helpful. Hmm. Fuck. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, I don't. I only I have would, so many um... fucking moves I can do. Consider using Fuck. the other side arrow. Like to loop all the way around? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it feels gross. I don't like that feeling. Well, if the way you have set up isn't working, that means you gotta try something else. I guess. Um, I don't know about that. Um... 
fuck, I need to move this other shit out of the way now. Uh, fuck, no, I don't have enough spins to do that. Fuck, I have to worry about getting fucking to the on switch, then getting to the thing. Fuck, this is so complicated. Uh, fuck, um, and the entire time you I'm just fucking panicking. I'll give you a hint. Because I know I'm running out help. of fucking time. I'll give you a hint that can help. Uh -huh. You can turn the on switch on in turns before you need it so that it's ready in the final battle. Well, it doesn't fucking matter at this point. If I don't get to the fucking Velemental right now, I'm going to lose again. Like, that's the thing is I have to do it this turn or I fucking lose. And so I have to figure out this fucking... This fucking puzzle, and oh it's not God. working. What the fuck? I mean... <sighs> no, uh, I need to fuck. Land on an action square so that you can use uh, healing items. Healing items? No, it yeah, won't like help mushrooms. because every time, how much it does is exactly how much health I have left. It's a one shot. Period. It will it kill me. Wasn't like the, it wasn't like that for me. Well, every time so far it has been. It's been exactly how much health I had left. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, but if you do some mushroom, you should be at full health to avoid that. I mean, I guess. Fucking, ah, fuck. Buy more time. Fucking. That doesn't fucking help me because I still need the Velumental symbol and I don't have enough fucking moves to do it. Oh, titty nipple. I have very odd, very specific uh, interjections uh -huh. that I use. Oh, um, I've noticed. And uh, Maddie gives me a hard time for them quite often. She'll just look over at me like, titty nipple? I'm like, would you rather me say shit fuck McGee? Like, what? Like, yeah, no, titty nipple. Would... Then I'll move it over it, there. I'm gonna do that one of these days in a situation where people are not gonna understand my interjections. They're just gonna be like, fuck. "What? The fuck did you say?" If I, I'm, I'm just gonna like, buy time again. Um, I'm gonna warn you that your path is about to get washed away. I know, I know. That's my thing. Is like I recognize that it's gonna get fucking. I can't get to a point where the on is in my path, and there's a fucking value mental that's not gonna get washed away that I can get okay. to in three moves. Move so that the on, like, move the outer ring first so that you're going from the second push, and then move the on uh, line-wise directly into your path. What? So that it's just... line what? What the, what? Yeah. I, this, of these instructions are like not doing... helping me. So you've got the ring move or the line move where you're okay. sliding just the line. So which arrow? The second one, because if you do anything else, your path will get washed away at the... Second uh, one? What do you mean the second one? So you've got two arrows pointing to your right, yes? You're on the first one, go to the second one, or your ar arrow in the back will get washed away. What? Are, the one, what? Second one? What do you mean second one? On your outer ring, you have two arrows pointing yes. to the left. You have yes. one at the three or the five o'clock position on a clock. Move that one to you. It's like four o'clock, but yeah, okay. Whatever. Move that one to you. Then do a line shift so that on is the second square you'll touch. And then line shift the turtle into where that fist is directly behind. Actually, yeah, no, if I do this. Then actually, I just got to move the value mental here. There you go. And then... No, fuck! That doesn't help me, though, because then the fucking... It's going to move the fucking arrow I do first. Also, I would suggest making sure that 
elementals are turned on before you get to this point. Well, they, despite fucking telling me everything to the gr most granular detail, they decided not to tell me how long the fucking on lasts for. Forever. Until you, it lasts until you activate the thousandfold arms or the elemental. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. All right. I, I assure you it does. Fucking. God damn it. Okay. So, use a healing item, just eat this, you know, loss, and then... Uh, fuck, if I could get that other fucking attack out of the way, so I don't just do that, and I can actually get to the fucking Velmental. Yeah. You bitchy sit, huh? Wait, well, wait. No, that attack would have been washed away. Uh, would it have? Yeah, because there's a spout right next to where it was. Hold on, let me check this. Ah, uh, there. And then, yes. Yeah, it'll get washed yes. away. Yes, okay, and then I just gotta, fuck. Nope, not the fucking hint. Get the fuck out of here. I really wish I could map the switching of the fucking parameters to, uh, to, uh, <coughs> to X, because I never need her fucking hint, because it's just whatever shit she already said. Yeah. Yeah, see, it'll wash okay. away everything except what you need. Okay. You're set. You're I was not thinking about that except for when it was hurting me, so that's helpful. <laughs> Yes, it could also be a help. You're welcome! Damn, I'm good at this game. Fucking, can I, <laughs> can I skip? Can I fucking skip this cutscene? I don't need to see it again. You I don't need 30 fucking seconds B. of this. Press B. Pressing B. Not doing anything. Then no, you can't. <laughs> it sucks. You can skip her transformation. Uh, in many cases. But, like, you have to sit through it at least once each time. Alright, big wave. Survived. But yeah, just remember, you can pre-turn it on before this turn. You can use the on switch, like, in your next turn and be ready. Hmm, okay. But you have to, actually, you have to use it now to use the thousand arm fold or thousand fold arms. Right. But uh you can in your next turn before it gets all swollen absolutely turn on the turtles in mm. advance. It's absolutely doable. Okay. Like it will last until you activate either the folds or the Elemental. So, once you... It will span turns. You got it now! Like, you got this shit. It oh is... yeah, I don't even need to... Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna work out fine. Okay. Fuck, six spouts? That's fucking half of the shit. It's okay. You got this. That's you're like the half shit. the fucking shit, dude. There's so much stuff. But you're the shit. That's too much. It's only half the shit. You're all the shit. You're the shittiest. Incorrect. I don't know. You suffered quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I you like how I'm... You like how I am punning the word shit here? Using now, all fuck, the... Now fuck, fuck, uh, fuck. I fucked it up. God damn it. You're fine. Ah. You'll survive. You'll live. Well, that's the thing is it sent me down a track that's super fucking long now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it took it took me to the same spot. So, fuck it. That worked out. Oh, God. That's great. So, fine. Yeah. The only way it could have been better was if you had actually, like, hit the on switch at the same time. So, yeah. Accident. 
That, yeah, that worked out, shit. Woo! But yeah, in your next turn, land up, I would heal, try and hit a, try and hit the on switch. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Or at the very least, try to hit the times two. I don't, hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna figure both out. Both of those would be good for you right about now, but at least one, right? Right. Um, but don't land on the elemental or hand thing until your next turn, when you need it. Like, oh, you're doing the signal loss thing again. God, fucking god damn it! Fuck Elgato! Hey. Hey, Elgato, if anybody who works there is fucking watching or listening, fuck your company, fuck your product. It sucks. It's a piece of shit. It really is. Like, I it doesn't fucking work I correctly at all. Gives me so much fucking trouble. It took me a billion years to get the fucking thing to work at all to begin with. And now all yeah. it does is give me fucking trouble. So fuck your product. I hate you. Make a better product. Could it be your your or your HDMI cord? No. Okay. It is definitely not. It's a it's a fucking. I've switched different HDMI cords, both of them. I've plugged it into different USB ports and shit. It's just it's just bullshit. It's the fucking Elgato fucking up as usual. Fair. Um, so what do you think of, like, the PlayStation being able to, like, if your Wi-Fi is good enough, stream to the computer itself directly? I mean, it's a cool idea, but I've never been able to get it to work correctly, so it's not super useful to me. I feel like part of your problem is that you're using Wi-Fi. I mean, yeah, I just don't really have an option. My computer doesn't even have an Ethernet port, so... Um, do you have Thunderbolt? No. I have four USB-C ports, that's it. Really? Yes, that is what the newest uh, MacBooks have. That sucks. Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of different dongles. Like, th three of the ports are taken up by dongles, and one of them is the power. Because, yes, you have to use one for the power as well. That's bullshit. Yeah, Mine I mean, had... the, I get the streamlining idea, but it's effectively the same as how they fucking took the headphone port at the iPhones. It's such an unnecessary thing that it only makes it slightly more, like, sleek looking, I guess. But just makes it a billion times more inconvenient to use. Mine had Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm. And, or, like, I got it through my school, and they right. sent a free adapter with it, so that students could plug Ethernet in. So I was going to say, I never use the damn thing. If you have Thunderbolt, I'd be happy to send it to you. Because my oh. Wi-Fi has usually been pretty decent. No, fuck. This isn't going to work for me. Uh... Fuck, there's only one sp one spot, like two spots that are safe. Three spots, there's one under his fucking wing. Um, okay. But you're not suffering as much now. You, you got this. I mean, I didn't, I I'm knew I'd be able you. to fucking get it. It's just frustrating. Because it's such I'm a so fucking... I'm of you, Iggy. It's, that's the thing, though, is that it's like randomized enough that there's a possibility that it, there's not a fucking solution, and that's annoying. Uh, you got it, though. Like, you just, yeah. You got it. Move that second ring one turn clockwise. Uh... Like, the second to the... the ring what? with the turtle is the second with the, like, times two and all that. Move that one click clockwise. What? Is it going to work from that distance? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter for the turtle. Uh, do do do. Yes, and then just... Nah, I probably could have used that to 
fucking get a heart or something. Whatever. Yeah, but you don't need it. Like, after this turn, you'll be set. Yeah. It just feels good, you know? This mushroom is tasty. Or it's a heart. Fuck, I don't care. Organs. Bow. Bow. Alright. Go down. Fall. Fall is stupid. Mega wave. Woo. Also large. Fall down. Fall down, dummy. I wonder how many people are going to have a water dragon uh, inflation fetish after this. Implying that it was not already a thing. Maybe not this well, specific mean, like, water dragon, but there's some there's some there's some literature I'd like to show you. An origami water dragon inflation <laughs> fetish, then. Fuck. I keep you hitting X because one... I keep thinking X is gonna switch it, but it doesn't. You know what the like? There's a lot of weird fetishes out there to me, like, and I am not a kink shamer, so like, it's just to me, I don't get the fetishes. Mm-hmm. But as long as your fetish isn't actively, uh, like for me, consent is what matters most. Right. So if you are, if, like, uh, for me, kids cannot consent. Like that's Correct. as simple as my rule gets, right? Fuck. Um, God damn it. I keep forgetting you have to hold it down. Cause it's one of those things where you have to like press it. Then wait a second, then hold it down, so I never get the fucking timing right on shit like that. Um. What the fuck? I gotta. So like. Uh. Kids and animals off the table. Yes, correct. As and as long as the person you are playing with will say is of legal age and consenting, whatever floats your boat is fine. All right. Do not judge you. The one that just. I don't get, though, is, um, vor. I mean, to a degree, inflation, but just vor in general, I don't Well, understand. generally, a lot of times, um, it will come down to just a mental confusion of different body, bodily functions, and conflating them with, uh, sexual activity. Yeah, I get... Like, I get water sports, I get, you know, feet is... So, you want me to help you with this one, Iggy? I'm just... Your I... outer ring is perfect. Just move your inner ring one over, and then your second inner ring one over, and leave the dead center ring alone. One over? What do you mean one over? Uh, clockwise. Move your second and third rings clockwise one spot. So that you'll go around, collect that heart. You had move your arm back to where it was. I on did. the outer ring. Well, no, that was after I'd had to move. This is the default. I need to go from here in three moves. Okay. okay. Give me a second. Three moves. That's the thing that's fucking me up is that I need to move the on yeah, into move, a place. Yeah, move on. Move on to the second position so it'll be the second square you touch. And then yes. for your second move... You, you see how that path will take you directly to the turtle? Turn that ring clockwise. Oh, wait, yeah, I got it. I got spot. it. And then the hand. Yep, yep, I got it. Clockwise one. Yeah, here you go. You're good. You're good, Iggy. I'm you got it. I'm you fucking win. I'm doing my best. It's difficult. God damn, I keep fucking clicking yeah, the damn mic. It. <laughs> I keep clicking the mic because I had it at a good fucking level on the other uh, the other scene collection I had for the desktop capture, and now I I've got it in a... It's not good enough. Hold on. I should pop that down to three, then. My apologies, people. Streaming, streaming is consistently a work in progress. So, keep that in mind when you view, view this or any stream.
There we go. Got a water bibliofold. Fuck, I want to throw myself in a goddamn river. <laughs> please. You understand please let me fill Jesus. let me fill up this fucking river so I can fucking drown myself. <sighs> you suddenly understand why I think the 10 toes too. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. All right. Here we go. She's unfolding. Oop, and she folds again, but it's blue now. Whoa. Kaka. Or not Kaka. Scra. Dragon noises. But yeah. Um, this and the turtle both have the same face. Yeah, because it's got to include her. Mm. Oh god. She's bloated. God. She's fat. Now people are going to have a fetish for her. Mm hmm. Alright, alright. I'm, yeah, it's almost three and a half hours into this, so I'm calling it here, but I will do the. No, no, no. Just trust me. <sighs> You, this is not the spot you want to stop. Can I the finish? Part, can I finish it within like ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, all you gotta do is go. Just follow my directions. Sure. Go straight to the boat. Hold on, saving. Okay, going. Go straight to the boat. Fill the lake in. Try to ride the boat. Mm -hmm. Go talk to the monkey, and then go straight to the tall grass back to that shrine. Right. But Olivia keeps calling a small house. Right, I figured that's where it was going to be. Yep. And then, um... Go find the friend... Or go talk to the mariachi. Find the friends in the tall grass. And take the can of food over to them. And enjoy the... Like, you'll get a musical number. It's okay. worth... It's worth it. Okay, I... I will have to mute you for that then, because if I if I turn it on so I can hear it, it is going to create an echo. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and do that, and that will be a good stopping point. Okay. It'll also make everything more interesting for those about to... Um, Rock. We salute you. It, it'll make it a good, fun cliffhanger for people to come back to. The fuck is this all about? Oh, cool. <laughs> fuck these <laughs> fish. Fucking kill these fish. Crush these fish. Fucking crush a fish. Stomp its spine. Fuck's sake. No. <laughs> Somebody asked what's wrong with Mario's face. Listen. Yump. In the Yump. game, not. Yump. He just looks like he's just Italian, dude. Alright. He's got a very terrible condition called Italianism. Mamma mia, that's a that's a fucking spicy take. It's a fucking face. Shit, where was the boat? God damn it. Uh, take the pipe. P oh, fuck, right yeah, the, the pipe, the... right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that'll cut time. Going back. Jump in the thing. Fuck you, Bob. What about Bob? Bib. Bib, 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 bib. Alright. Fuck you, bib. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking fall down. There's a boat. Hello. If we go right in this boat, we can fall the same. Cool. Uh, where the fuck? There it is. Okay. There's the fucking circle. Here we go. Here uh, we go. As the Mario says. Here we go. It, it did the thing, the thing that fucking Danny was talking about on Grumps, where it just it, it cut out when you shouted. 
Hey, Iggy. It does it half the time when you laugh, too. Hey, Iggy. Hey. Hello. What kind of pants does Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. He doesn't wear pants at all, you idiot. He wears overalls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're just mad that I fucking already knew the punchline. Oh? <laughs> like, I expected you to know that one. That's why I said pants. Oh, cool. There's a shortcut around now. That's that's a that's a cute way to do that. You know what? This little shortcut around, that's cute. That's some cute shit. Yeah. It's a fun, like, the, the charming stuff in this game is charming enough that you're like, you know, I was harsh. That's how I felt about Sticker Star. It's like, there are bits, of, the, the battling is so tedious, but like, you play it and you're just like, you know what? Honestly, this is pretty nice. This wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. And then you get it's back into cute. the part you don't like and you're like, fuck this whole life. Yeah. Why it, must I live for to, to only to suffer? This game is borderline manic depressive. Like, mm, yeah. Like there are manic moments where you're just like, this game is great. Then there's the depressive moments where you're like, fucking, I can't do it. Can't it, do it, it anymore. It, you absolutely have those moments. Get this in the boat. Get in the boat. Why can't we go? Oh. My. God. Jeans. Are low riders. Becky. Look at her. Butt. Wow, Mario just really doesn't know how to use a boat. What a fucking moron. Well, I've never... Like, if I had to steer one of those boats, I wouldn't be able to either. I have to have the two oars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick biology break and be right back. Hold on. Okie dokie. Do you wanna be on mic or off? I don't care. Off it is. Finishing the first half of the second level. Sure. Whenever. Whenever. Who water? Everybody goes for butter. Mm. Alright, we get a uh, monkey. Ask the monkey. Oh, oh he I runs can't away. Afford to keep doing this. I can't afford to keep helping people. Hmm. <sighs> Like it's eating into my money. Yeah. Well, it's a lot. Like, mm, I don't want to spoil anything, but like, there are some people in debt that ask if I can help out financially, and it is expensive. I got a can of tuna. Here we go. So I just go back to the mariachi guy then. 
Uh, you go to the uh, shrine first, then mariachi. Right. And there it is. To the shrine, to the shrine. It's a monkey. <coughs> oh my god. Give him the tuna. He cannot open it with his little monkey paws. It is borderline racist. What? Like, it, eh. I'm at a point now where, like, using monkeys in anything just... Eh, please don't, you know? Yeah, even the word has become so ubiquitous with, like... Racism. Yeah, that it's like, it makes me a little uncomfortable to even use it half the time. Yeah. All right, I'm afraid of my guy lost in tall grass. Could you go find him for me? Sure, bud. Now this part is uh, time consuming, but you can you can do it. Do I need to use the radar? No, because none of them are toads. That's a fair point. Ah, that guy's sleeping. I see that motherfucker. You can't trick me. That's a spike. Huh. <gasps> Oh shit. So can I find them all in one or do I have to take them back one at a time? Uh you can try all in one. Okay. If you're you're talking to Spike, if you head straight south and then west when you get to the wall, there's another in that back corner. Uh okay. Over here. In here? That wasn't one of the friends. That was just a toad you found. No, I know. Uh, no, no, straight south, and then west. Oh, the southwest corner. Okay. Mmm, I see. Whoa! Well, that's a toad. Southwest? Wait, where? South? In the grass. West. Like, before you fall down that hole? He's in the grass there. How do I get him? You just start. No, nope. okay. Anything. I'm gonna guess that I have to do it one by one then. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's uh, yeah. He's not triggering. So. He's somewhere around that pillar that's over there. So okay. In yeah. that general area. Da, 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 da. Hello. What do you play? Uh, he's not a mariachi. Alright. But he does have a sweet can of ravioli. Oh, sick. You know what? When I was really fucking broke, straight out of, like, high school, I would uh -huh. just get, like, canned beef ravioli. And here's the thing. You want to have canned beef ravioli properly? Pop that sucker open and just eat it right there. Don't fucking heat it up. None of that bullshit. You don't need it. Depends on the brand. I will, I will challenge that play. Because there are some that are so fatty that you have this speckled fat on top. Oh, well, you mix it I'm... in. You just mix mm, it. You can nope. you can stir it, but you don't need to cook it. I can't. I can't go with the congealed fat. Nah, it's not that bad. Man, there is a heartbreaking character in this game. I'm glad that. Something can make you feel. Feel something. Alright. Oh, Give me the it's... coins. Whoa. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus, there's so many more fucking enemies this time around. Jesus. Oh god, it's a fucking wave battle. Fucking god damn it, I don't want to do this shit. Fuck. Well, no, I think you have to. Oh, god damn it, yeah. I think. But, now they'll have elemental things, so you can use them on the next wave and just get it out of the way. Yeah. So you only have to fight the one wave. Right. Unless there's three, then you have to fight there two There are waves. four, actually, so... Huh. Oh, no, I guess this is la Well, what the fuck? Four of them lined up. I thought that was the indication of how many fucking waves there were. No. 
kind of dumb. Come on. Come on, spit, you dumb bastard. Can you make yourself vomit without sticking your finger down your throat? Like, can you just control No, that? I can do the noise. I can do ver many variations on the noise. Although, at a certain point, it may make me vomit. Um, I... Uh... Taught myself how in middle school? Mmm. So that I can get out of class. My uh, mom worked yes. at the school. Right. And, uh... You know, anxiety, being a kid, not having therapy, things like that. Oh, there's only I two guys I gotta find? I thought there was yeah, three. Yeah, because there's three of them. Three total. I thought there was three you had to find. Okay. Yeah, no. So uh, finish your story, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna unfortunately have to mute you so that we can hear this this beautiful oh, music. Oh, you, you've got a way before the music starts. Fucking really? Okay. Yeah, you, you got to take the can over to the thing, whack him with a hammer, and all that shit. So, um, I taught myself how to throw. Is this up not on it? Is this not it right here? Uh no. I mean, they're singing. You'll know it. It's when you're on the boat. Okay, it's on the boat. Yeah. I thought it was these guys who sing. I mean, uh -uh. They, they are singing, but... Eh, whatever. Uh -uh. But in order to get out of school, I taught myself how to throw up on command. Mm-hmm. And also, how to get a bloody nose. Which, um... Originally, I did by just punching myself in the face until it bled. Because our school had a rule that if you got blood on your clothing, you had to go home. Mm. Yeah, it's a biohazard. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't even a case of, well, you got gym clothes, put those on. No, you had to go home. That was the school rule. Um, so my mom would just take me home and be like, you can't keep doing this. I'm like, fucking try me. I'm like, I'm not faking it, mom. I'm like... <laughs> Because, like, they had people watch me at one point. Like, I would be in class, and I would just vomit on the floor to get out of school. And so, uh, yeah. But after a point, you if you get nosebleeds a lot like I did as a kid, like, not just because I gave myself nosebleeds, but even today, uh, my nose is fucked up. Like, it's not a good sign when a doctor, you know that little thing doctors use to check your ears and noses? Yeah. And, uh, the little flashlight with a funnel on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a good sign when your doctor of 18 years looks in your nose and goes, Oh my god! <laughs> like, so, she told me, uh, if your nose gets worse, we'll have to cauterize it with acid. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I just never went and got it checked again. <laughs> fucking what? Um, like, wh yeah. wh how would that help? It would close up the constant wounds. Um, God damn. that I have. Um, so, uh, it gets to the point now where, like, if I have a nosebleed, I have to be very careful not to strain at all, because it'll cause another one. Like, if I throw up, it'll cause one. If I strain using the restroom, it'll cause one. God damn. So, yeah. All right. Now, I, now mute me. Mute me. Okay, now the okay. Do you have any last words before you muted, Andrew? Uh... Don't train yourself to throw up or bleed on command. It's not worth it. Yeah, generally Go your body... Get therapy instead. Generally your body is supposed to do those at very specific times and uh, forcing any any sort of situation like that. Even if you're on just the toilet, don't don't strain, guys. You'll, you'll pop a... You'll pop a... You'll, you'll freaking break your O-ring. All right. Good night, Andrew. Good night. All right, now here we go. Got to... Turn this on so I can hear it. Turn that up so I can hear myself. And I can hear the game audio. So, time for this wonderful, wonderful uh, musical number that Andrew speaks of.
Oh yeah, this is chill. This is good, uh, good thing to do after the, uh, Oh, I like that. Having it be the, uh, I think that's a woodwind? What instrument is that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's some sort of woodwind instrument. Listen, that was your own choice, pal. Don't don't put that on us. Wonderful. All right, we're on the other end of the river here. So Oh jeez. Well, we will do that. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow since it just saved. So, before it goes any further, I'm just going to go to my home screen. So, thank you all for watching, whether you're watching now, in the past, or in the future, with the past broadcast tab, or with the YouTube archive, which you can find down below the stream on the browser version, along with links to my personal YouTube, my Twitter where I tweet out when I go live, and the schedule, which you can also find on my channel's main page, uh, I'd also encourage you to go to idkvoice.com where you can hear some of my voiceover demos and other things. Um, and, you know, any feedback you have about that site, I did just update it, so I'd be curious to know what you all think. Uh, and also, yeah, please consider following if you haven't because it really helps the channel, and we're at about 20 followers. That's about 30 shy of the 50 we need for affiliate, so I'd really appreciate it if you do so. It's free, and it helps out a great deal. Thank you all very much for watching. Good night, folks.